Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another Star Rail video. Finally, you might be surprised at who in the world is this? Now, this is my favorite character in the game. I've liked her ever since the beta. Also, there's a chest behind me, I see. I have an idea for maybe some kind of exploration videos for <laughs> Star Rail, so I'll have to see how that works out eventually. My account has progressed quite a bit since last time we made a video. Mostly stuff I do on stream, so if you want to see me play the game more than just follow the story, you can always check out the stream right here. We also got, I think people call him King? <laughs> He's not even in any party. <laughs> Goes to show how much I care, huh? This guy! So we got him as well. It genuinely wasn't even pulling for him. I just want a chicken girl, but it took me 80 pulls? 90 perhaps? Today we finally get to get back to the surface. I'm super excited. I can't wait. I've been avoiding this area for so long. I wonder if I walk up. Okay, it doesn't really do it yet. I guess let's have a chat with them. You ready yet? Yeah. If you want to keep wasting time, I'll just go on ahead. By I've wasted many weeks. <laughs> They've been standing here for two weeks, I think. What? Still something you want to talk about? Not really. All right, let's make it quick. Not really, gonna be honest, no. All right. Oleg, how about you, dude? Ah, uh, young lady. Hey. I wanted to see you off, but you know how things are here in the underground. Yeah. Solve one problem and three more take its place. Uh-huh. Hmm, something you wanted to ask? Not really. What's next for Wildfire? I heard you came from the overworld. Well, didn't we all? <laughs> how about you and Natasha? Natasha what? Natasha, trust me. But the most important thing a leader needs is a strong heart. All right, love to hear it. All right, cool. Well, some Pokoski, well, tell friends, me. Are you ready to head out? Yeah, dude. Let's go. Hold on, I still have a question. Away, my friend. I have all the answers you seek. Why is there a Stellaron in my body? Tell me about Gepard. Tell me about Geptalep. <laughs> what else is there to say? You know him as well as I do. Uh -huh. He's an upstanding guy as well as uh, young, handsome, mm -hmm. and charming, and his lack of charm but to fair, be honest fair I'm flame. not very close to him after all he's an officer and i'm the opposite the opposite fair okay cool well, my friends are you ready to head out let's go some wonderful remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way okay we have a lot of steps to climb oh oh just the thought tires me okay hello mother i have returned yeah <laughs> she was in shock okay well this is we're right into it, huh? Rania, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. <laughs> Where were you? Are you, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. I'm fine, mom. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. <laughs> I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld. Mm -hmm. Nothing I couldn't handle. Sure, in the underworld. The underworld? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. In that case, report everything you saw, Commander Branya. Hey, I'm talking to you as my mom, not as my superior in the... After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, then she goes the wanted it. outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Okay. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance <laughs> Don't say this to in front help of the her. residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. Mm -hmm. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svaro mm -hmm. and learned some truths. About the Stellaron. Uh oh. <laughs> Did she smirk a little bit? I'm listening. Go on. Okay. Madam Cacolia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. Uh huh. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice <laughs> and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabald. Well, not only that, but yeah, partially that. Mother, you've always <laughs> known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Ooh. Well, the Ooh. responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Mm -hmm. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. Right. So forgive my defiance but i believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake mm -hmm. to solve the problems brought on by the stellar on the architects waited hundreds of years and those outsiders may be the 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 solution but she's gonna cut you off Enough! how dare you <laughs> coconut arrogant oh no ignorant oh no you disappoint me, brother. Here it is, the jail arc. I told you it was jail arc. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. 
And now you think you know everything. Why are you so mad? You Just tell her then. Short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Nice mom you have. Jeez. Guards! Take Branya. No. They are not scum. <laughs> my entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. She is underground, actually. This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop <laughs> dismissing me with vague excuses. Uh-huh. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why okay. do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? <laughs> why did you have that sudden change of mind? <laughs> she... I see. Do you know? I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I mm -hmm. just didn't expect it would be so soon. Okay. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Yes. Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. Yes. I am ready. Mother. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> then come with me, Bronya. Uh-oh. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Uh oh. That's just a stellar on You're getting baited. That's not the world. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy though. Already. Right into it. Ah, we're finally back. Uh <sighs> I forgot what fresh air <laughs> tasted like. Hum, 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 hum. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Listen, why aren't the guards mad at us? They're just standing there. Aren't we still like outlaws? What flavor is it? <sighs> Freedom. <laughs> <sighs> A cold. <laughs> <sighs> Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. <laughs> Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put I don't our know. Makeup. It's not Aren't we just going straight to Branya's home? Classic, unreliable Sampo. Yeah. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. Sure. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Yeah. <laughs> we should hide in plain sight. To the hotel. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Find the Landau. Okay. <laughs> home is where the heart is. Back to the Express. That's kind of hype, actually. I think it'd be cool for the Express to meet Zila, but maybe they did tell us to go find the guards. Let's do this. Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Right. Don Hung, what do you think? Well, this is our advice we got from the underground, though. I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. Yeah. So you think we should avoid Chapard for the time being? Get the lep. He's an elite officer of the silver main guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Right. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter. Mm hmm. We'd be walking right into the lion's den. Do you mean the Geppard's den? The leopard? <laughs> Fuck, I messed up the joke. Mm, makes sense. Yes, we better head over to Sir Val's workshop then? Yes. Mm -hmm. But we must keep a low profile. Mm hmm. We're still wanted fugitives. Mm hmm. And these guards are blind, apparently. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. Yeah, sure. The last time I was on the surface. I was still a child. Yeah. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. <laughs> we've... We've been cut off for so long. I know. I'm okay. Let's go. Sure. Let's move. There are so many silver Here we go. On patrol. In the sweltering morning sun, Isn't cleanse like the darkness outside. No. Start. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. Hello? Might have something to do with us. I'm a wanted fugitive. The Supreme Guardian <laughs> has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Yeah, is in jail. Maybe Branya's gonna listen to the voices again and backstab us once more. Branya, don't you do this. Who is it? We built a bond of trust. Serval, it's us. It's the radiator fixers. I remember. The three outsiders. Uh huh. Uh, you know the silver main guards are looking all over for you? We were stuck in the underground for a while. Quick, act natural and get inside. <laughs> Don't get spotted. Act natural. All right. 
You'll be safe here. Thanks, Raval. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and mm -hmm. barely anyone comes in. That's <laughs> not great, but great for us. Thank you. Just what crime did you commit exactly? For us. They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's really unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. It didn't really look like that. Oh, we just not yet, March. <laughs> <laughs> Rania said we could trust you completely. Mm -hmm. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> what's the evil look at the end? Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Okay. Nicolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. Oh. It was her that ejected me from the architects. Really? I refuse to stand with her. What the hell? I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Right. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. Okay. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Sure. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Uh-huh. Wow. So, what details have you been pondering? Me? None. Oh. What Kokolia <laughs> what a build up. <laughs> to has nothing to do with me. My time is too precious for pondering. Okay. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. Sure. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. <laughs> Let's get back to you guys. Mm -hmm. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. Well, I don't. I actually don't even know what we would tell you. We're just hiding. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. Mm -hmm. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> I've got good intuition, by the way. We may as well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. <laughs> we may as well cut... Nah, yeah, well, let's cut to the chase. This is just so that we don't have to re-witness literally everything, no, I'm sure. I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Perhaps I should do it. <laughs> Or we'll still be here tomorrow. <laughs> Would March have told it if we got the long story? Okay. Telling Cervella about your time in the inner world and what you know about the Celeron, showing her Branya's letter. Interesting. So that's what's been happening. Yes. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. Mm-hmm. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below. Yep. This is what's become of the underworld? How are you surprised? Do you think it's a paradise? Like. I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. Haha, <laughs> we did though. What's more, we Got have Miss Zila here as living proof. I was gonna say that. As for the Stellaron. Was March staring at us? <laughs> I know why Branya got you to find me. Uh-huh. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division. Yeah. I was researching the Stellaron. Okay. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Alright. Come on. I'll tell you everything. Whoa. Oh, that's sudden big, big lore moment. Talk to her some more. <laughs> Talk to her some more. Okay, thanks for the Only gameplay. A very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Mm -hmm. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. Sure, but you know it's true. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Tarot, yeah. the architects dug out the truth long ago. All right. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Yep. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Well, you said your carefree life is kind of nice now, so maybe it was a, you know, positive choice. Maybe I should that be you thinking, were... Kokolia. Exactly. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a oh. permanent measure. Nah, stop it. Stop it. Couldn't do that. How much do you know about the Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked. Okay. So, I was already close to the truth. I see. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Yeah. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. Yeah. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. Okay. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Well, pretty good research then. Researcher. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. <laughs> it was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. I see. Okay. Do you know what Kukolia's end goal is? Kukolia... It's been so many years since we last spoke. 
We were great wow. friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. Really? She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. Mm -hmm. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. Mmm, creepy. She gave the order to expel me herself and mm -hmm. refused to see me. I never understood that behavior. Yeah. I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Still wrong. Sometimes I <laughs> wonder whether she really did become a different person. Perhaps. Is that possible? Why are you asking a world like Perhaps this? There's of course a it is. Single guardian consciousness that gets handed down <laughs> from generation to generation. That'd be so much worse. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. No, I think I think she can come back. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? Could be it though. <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for a good songwriting material. <laughs> Very modern. Can we talk to Gep the Lep? <laughs> Japard? Uh huh. Not a chance. Oh. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. Never Gep. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Loser. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, <laughs> he wouldn't be swayed. <laughs> All right. You need to choose your words carefully if you want okay. to persuade him of something. Sure. It might be best if I talk to him. Yes. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Okay. Well, do you know where the Stellaron is? Yes. <gasps> I never observed Yo. it directly, but Yo. I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. Just so you know, if this is like a huge cliffhanger, I might, I might, this video might be six hours long. I don't care. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog. All right. Somewhere in the vast snow plains. Really now? We must locate it as soon as possible. Ideally before Kokolia takes action. Yes. Can you tell us the way? Mm, please. Not a problem. Oh my god. I was god. thinking the my same queen. thing. My queen. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. So you're showing us? The area to the north of Bellabog so well, has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. I see. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, yeah. you need to get past the Silver Main Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. I'll beat them all up. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, yeah. you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. I'll beat them up too. Silver Main Guard restricted zone? A heap of Fragmentum? Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. Oh. The Fragmentum there has quite literally torn everything to pieces. Oh. <laughs> There's no sign of life, despite the monsters. It has made black holes. Of us and Zila might not be enough. Yeah, it will. Why don't we go back underground and get wildfire? There's no way we're going back underground already. I fear we may not have the time. Thank you, Don. Hey, enough pessimism. Uh huh. Back in my official capacity days, uh huh. I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. Okay, Serval. This calls for brain waves, not brawn waves. Nice. Can I take you over myself? Yes. Really? Yes. Great. If someone you know is leading the way. So true. Let's go. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. Mm -hmm. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Speaking of decades, it has nothing to do with decades. Tomorrow's my birthday at the time of recording this. I'm recording this on June 10th. This will show how lazy I am with editing. <laughs> I like this little gang. Be looking cute. Darn it. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Serval, what the frick? Find somewhere to hide. Quick. I'll handle him. Oh, please let me actually pick. Let me actually walk around and hide in a timer. No. J Japard. Haha, <laughs> I get you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> Serval, you're the worst liar. Oh my god. The things are manageable. The and he's the most culpable. What are they I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. He's just, oh, oh, right, right. Whew, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? No, oh, he's kind of caring. N no. Why would anything have happened? <laughs> Our voice is amazing. You don't normally use my full name. Oh, wait, you also call him Gep? Uh, no way. You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Yeah, bro. But I agree. 
It'd sound better if I started using your full name. <laughs> no. Right, Brosif? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Brosif in 2023. You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. Oh. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device. Hell. The engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Wow. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. She's way more confident about it because <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. You don't hear the stutter at all anymore. Sorry to trouble you. It's alright, get the left. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? Yes. I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. But Gap, it's me. It's your sister. Gap. Gap. You, I'll call you Gap the Lep if you want. Lil Jeppy. <laughs> so grown up now. Looking Jeppy. down on his civilian sister. Wow. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Palo will. Oh, so he's gonna say it? Last night, Lady okay, Bronya let's go. suddenly appeared. What? She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. What? The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and no. back into the administrative district. No way. No way. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Oh, uh, no sus individuals here. Ah, so that's how it is. <laughs> no wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. <laughs> is she all right? Good roleplay, Serval. I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. She's jailed. Supreme wow, Guardian good hiding spot, Zila. Returned. Nothing more. Where are we? <laughs> oh. Well, I was sure. Don't do anything about reckless. Her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. Yeah. She really does tell Feels you everything. That. Oh, by the way, I left or my I Goethe that. Hotel limited edition flask behind <laughs> last time I was here. Oh no! Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over. Get the lap, and then she's gonna scream. No! Uh oh. Wait. I I gave it away to uh, the the people that were thirsty outside. What is it? <laughs> you seem pretty off today, Serval. Walk around the counter, guys. Hide on the other side. It's um. Thank you. Right. You remember how you <laughs> neglected all those flowers to death? Uh huh. I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. <laughs> so, don't go over there. Ah. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, <laughs> am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? Uh-huh. You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh-oh. Uh, am not. <laughs> How dare you? What do you take your sister for? A liar? That I would never lie. Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. <laughs> I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. <laughs> Why would he have a limited edition Goeth Hotel drinking thing? Why? Bye, Gep the Lep. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask. Mm -hmm. What crime have they committed? He doesn't know. They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. <laughs> huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Uh huh. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Stop your A, hey, this is a bit sus what you're saying. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. Uh-huh. But this isn't a joking matter. Speaking of that, Geptalep, you've been carrying me through the game so far, so it's your fault that I'm doing this to Supreme Guardian. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. <laughs> you better Whatever, bro. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. Nice. I will. If I have the time. Pela is like the singer? Oh, maybe, I'd, I'd guess. Or maybe she also plays an instrument. Yo, 10 out of 10 acting, Serval. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Queen. Oh my god. Uh, head out with Serval and go to the Silvermane Guard Restricted Zone. Ew. I nearly suffocated. What do you mean? What kind of plot device was that? Uh, don't even act like you'd come up with something better than I that. I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. You did great. This is bad. Bronya's in danger. We have to go save her. Nah, you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. By ourselves. Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are. I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Nice. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Bronya. I'd believe that. I'm certain of that. I'd believe it. You sound like Bronya herself. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. 
You guys are against Cocolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Some people are awful, but still have like some principles, you know? Have you thought of a way to persuade Gep, or is he going to a Silvermane Guard restricted zone? Didn't you hear him? No, he I did. He needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. Okay. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Let's move. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. Yeah. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the stellar on, Cocolia will be out of options. Okay. Chop chop then. Oh yeah, look at this. I, I saw it pop up as well. I currently have 50,000 XP. <laughs> Over the 3k I need to level up. Uh, I've been stuck at this level forever. Is so. Sonia really safe? When we level up again, we're probably going to get 10 levels. You must have become close friends. Yes, truly. Close is a bit much. Mm -hmm. But... I made her a promise. Right. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. All right, there you go. Cute little, cute little bit of extra lore. And let's move to the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. I tried to access this earlier. Jacked up oh. security, all right. How the heck uh. are we gonna sneak in? <laughs> Serval, we need one of those brain waves. <laughs> what do you mean with sneak? I'm literally in front of two guards. Give it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. All right. Uh, I guess I'm talking to him as Serval, then? This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. But Bobby, it's me, Serval. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Well, if it isn't Franz, Franz. of course. Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Ah, uh, yes, I've been loving it here. Well, you see... I yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. <laughs> Still nailing us to the wall. <laughs> so, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? Uh, gals, please. We're the Slay Squad. Can you not tell by our outfits? The fuck? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Yeah. Told me it was urgent. Mm-hmm. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. Nice. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Franz? Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Franz, you're gonna- you're gonna trust Serval, right? Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. <laughs> Why would they tell you guys? <laughs> Come on, let us in already. <laughs> if the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you gonna be responsible for all the frozen corpses? Ooh, Franz, that's a lot of responsibility, Franz. N no, that's a- uh... Not something I could handle. Thought so. Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. It should be. Okay. But it Here's isn't. Some temporary <laughs> passes. Oh, and Thanks. remember to give them back to me when you leave. Yeah, you wish. You're not gonna need them anymore. You're gonna be disbanded by the end of this. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. <laughs> no, no. Captain Japard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better <laughs> chance if you don't mention me at all. Oh, you sure? That's honorable, Mr. Franz. These dudes look crazy, by the way. Listen, oh wait. First of all, let's have a bit more of a cannon comp. I feel like it, it matters. Here we go. Just act like this is me. Let's listen in. I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. <laughs> nice hat. But let me set one thing straight. You are gravely mistaken. Uh-huh. This is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Okay. We have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. <laughs> They're further than you think. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. Uh huh. As such, starting from today, oh, we'll no. be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra oh. minutes of one arm planks to our oh. daily drill. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm already tired just I'm hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this, um, let me see. I think you can access this area in the future still, so we're not gonna grab the chests. See, that was easy. Sure. You're Japard's sister, all right. I don't want people to see me that way. Uh -huh. I'm doing this for you. Thanks. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using my brother's name. All right, well, I appreciate it. For us. You also want to see the seller on Missy, don't even. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? Yeah. When you cross over to the other side. You arrive at hell on earth. Hell on earth. Jeez, okay, that's uh, quite the spice. So what's exactly, what exactly is on the other side? Probably the around. I know how to speak. <laughs> the architects follow Clipoth. Do you believe in hell? They do. Oh god, they the actually do. The architects believe that hell can exist on any world. 
a plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. All right. In the future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If under Klepoth, the preservation's guidance, you yeah. fail to construct a barrier, Get the lep. that catastrophe will sweep away the stars, mm -hmm. plunging all worlds into hell. Damn. That's the belief of the architects. I see. But for us, hell is an endless fragmentum, yeah. a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of Ugh. death in the air. Yeah. If we want right. to progress further Doesn't north, sound great. we will need to cross that hell. Yeah. Are you ready? Of course. We've come this far. It's never too late to retreat. <laughs> hey, chicken. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. All right. Well, I see. There's mechanical things and uh, one bridge that's not working, so we're gonna have to spin this thing. Underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. Mm -hmm. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. I see. Let's go find them. Sure. This is great. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? These guys were gonna have to punch, yes, no? But what made you ask that all of a sudden? Never mind. It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? That's He's cute. <laughs> Alright. I like the reasoning. Mechanical fever released a new song. Did you hear it? <laughs> no, what is it? 9,000 degrees, uh, 179 degrees Celsius. What was the group again? Oh, sure did. Palo was on late oh. this time. Scared me half to death. No way, bro. It's a completely different style. That's Serval's group then. Even mechanical fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's <laughs> dead. There's no audience anymore. Oh shit. Don't be so pessimistic. They're just keeping things fresh. <laughs> yeah, bro. I thought Palo was pretty good. <laughs> ah yes. Let's see. Do we get to do some combination puzzle stuff? <sighs> ah. No. This terminal's offline. Dang it. Control it from here. Never lucky. So let's look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. All right. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. Wow. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. I see. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Yeah, doesn't sound exciting. Darn! Darn! Can't activate it. it seems not like this one either. the energy supply to the terminals. Bro. I was just thinking. I misclicked. We can't rule it out. <laughs> I keep doing that in this game. I need to find a place to put my mouse here. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Yep. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Accidental. Or. To prevent deserters from escaping. More like that, yeah. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, uh -huh. the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Now that's a good point, though. They cut off their only retreat. That's terrible. <laughs> Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Yeah. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum monsters. Mm -hmm. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Alrighty. There's a whole lot of movement. Is this dude talking to a robot? Can we listen? Aren't you the maintenance people? Yeah. What are you doing over here? Main, main, maintaining. <laughs> you can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Oh. Get to work. Alright. On it. This way, right? I feel like this dude maybe wants to fight. No? We don't even talk? We don't talk anymore. I am destroying all their barrels. This place is huge, by the way. Oh, locked for now, but eventually explorable. This area is pretty big. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. That's it's pretty it. big, though. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. Uh huh. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? <laughs> Everything is just behind gates. Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. I see. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Yeah. Mm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. Very heavily guarded, to the point that we're just standing here. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> we learned the hard way. Oof. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. I see. Uh, won't this cause a commotion? And the guards get suspicious? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. Uh-huh. So that's why you went for maintenance. <laughs> Way to go, Serval. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. She did? Come on. Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. All right. 
Is this the one I wanted to talk to? No, it's not. How about this dude, though? Sorry, I'm on duty. No time to chat. If there's an issue, <laughs> report to the security captain. Yeah, that's very respectful, kind. You know, I like that guard. Hey, dude. Yo. Are you Yo. the emergency engineers? <laughs> I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? No. Well, we need to go in. Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. Uh, you're gonna let me in, right, Bobber? If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. Bob's I've worked key? on various iterations of this type of installation. Bob's if? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. Bob. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Well. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? What? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? <laughs> no dice without the encryption key. Fine. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. Yeah, nice try, March. Was very close, that one. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? <laughs> uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go mm -hmm. and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Awesome. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> problem we'll be back in a bit wow this is great all these relations can i just I, I feel like if i press f they're gonna see me and then they're gonna pay respects and then they're gonna chase after me until hell let's loose what are you doing what are you doing no one knows Dunk. Sir Ball, this Dunn, do you know him clearly you bet i do we go way back he's easy to talk to watch me persuade him but maybe he's been still around maybe he's been still around and then what lance mm-hmm <laughs> Did you hear I'm not Malik listening. Is being reassigned? No. Seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Everyone's dying. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Yes. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. <laughs> Nothing to do with the lady in front of you. As long as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. <laughs> eh, you make it sound terrible. What do you Look, mean? Preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Wow. Our purpose as Silverman guards is to protect the citizens of Bella Bog. I guess they have a decent mindset. I wouldn't ever be ready to lose my life. This dude with the cool hat. With the funny hat. Hey, Dunn. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Hey, Dunn. Serval, it's been a long time. <laughs> You're still so... <clears throat> You look good. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They have hey. take care of business at the workshop. It's us. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn. Hey, Dunn. An old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Really? Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Cool. Epic. Crazy. Something smells weird. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Zachary. How many days has it been since you showered? <laughs> Zachary. Uh, I showered right before my shift. <laughs> hmm, what did you say? <laughs> I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable. Especially in front of visitors. <laughs> Apologies for the embarrassment all. <laughs> That's why you gotta pick the stupid option. What good content. It's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know... If you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? Ooh. My keyboard guy is pretty good, but... I still miss our military days playing in the band. Wow. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. I don't know Besides, what this guy's face looks like. All year round, I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. It's okay, we'll end this war soon. Though I trust. Don't on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. Mm -hmm. It's not safe here. Sure. I've checked the lines. We there need keys, bro. Be any major problems. Speaking of keys. All that's left is the energy hub. You play keys. We need your key. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Please. <sighs> Done. Dunny. Dunny. We'll be on our way after a quick checkup. Don't be hesitant for your dream girl. <laughs> Could you be any less discreet? <laughs> no. I love this. Oh, nice lighting. It's scenic lighting on the helmet, Dunn. Anything wrong, Dunn? <laughs> uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Yes. Huh? Oh, uh... <laughs> let me think. Hey, sis, the <laughs> energy supply line... She's even role-playing the tone. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> and may I ask, 
When did he contact you? This morning. Done. Why are you doubting me? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. It's only been broken since today? Aha. Uh -huh. Suspicious. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. Uh-oh. I could reconfirm with him. <laughs> wow. You don't trust me, Don? Huh? Uh, hold up. He's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. Oh my god, someone's using cloning. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. <laughs> These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants. Done! Oh my god, Serval Dunn knew you better than you knew him. Shit, we're doomed. <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. <laughs> but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. Damn, Dunn kind of cool. I, I mean, he's he's not being very helpful for us right now, but he is kind of cool. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. Wow. The outsiders must remain. Done. Done. We're trying to help you, bro. There goes the negotiation. Do you think it's because I said that it was his dream girl? <laughs> Looks like it's gonna end in a fight after all. <laughs> I'm not sending her away. She wouldn't want to leave. I brought you guys here and I'm standing See? with you till the end. I knew it. I knew I wouldn't send her away. Done. This concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Trust your girl. Serval. We used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. So would you. Why would she trust us? My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity <laughs> of a soldier. <laughs> Alright, done. Oh, here we go. Shit, we're fighting one of the big boys. I won't surrender. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Bang, bang. And then we chicken. She's so broken. Watch. We chicken. The best move in the game. I love this. Boom. Big chicken. Then we get the move again. Oh my god. It's incredible. And then we play some guitar. Rock and roll. And even Gep the Lep is helping us, dude. Look. Your own captain. Chicken slice. Ooh. Decapitation. That's not great. What the hell? Why? Done. You could have trusted us. You could have been our home slice. But instead, look at what you've done. You're laying there on the floor with no grace. I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> Snaps his neck. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. I don't think she is worried. <laughs> Stubborn fool. <laughs> Strong, though. Yep. Wildfire lacks people like him. <laughs> I like the reasoning. Got it. The encryption key. And? Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Uh oh I was gonna say he's also very uh, trustworthy, right? Because he's trust he's like following the orders and not letting old friendships change his mind. Oh, what just happened? Is that an alarm? I think we attracted attention. Uh oh. That's the enemy attack alarm. Oh. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became oh. our enemy. Yeah, I figured there were so many walking around. There was no way they weren't gonna become enemies. All right, let's take them out. If we work together, we can break through their ranks. <laughs> My life was short, but it was a life filled with. That's so good. We've made it up till now. Yes. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. I really hope you don't do anything stupid when we get Quick, there. Back to the energy supply hub. Oh man. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. That is gold. If I known he had the encryption key from the start. I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Oh, yeah, true. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. <laughs> Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. <laughs> Watch this. One shot. I missed. No! I missed again. Walk up to this. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Took me three attempts. Wasted all my ease. Boom. Dead. Watch this. Chicken girl. Bam, boom. Kills. And then I chicken burst on this dude. Kill him as well. Rise Venus. Bonk. Pretty good crowd today. Oh, I didn't get to go again. Oh wait, I did. Here we go. Bop. Oh. She's so cool, man. She's by far my favorite character. <laughs> Even aesthetically. I don't know. I kinda wanna have the OG characters built, but Chicken Girl is so cool. Look at her. I love her. She's like actually my 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 perfect character. Holy what the guacamole, the gun that you're holding, man. Run! He looks like demo in uh Team Fortress. <laughs> what are you doing? Die. Rise Venus. <laughs> She's so cool. Yes. I love her. There's just too many good characters. Alright, in the back. 
That should just one shot by default. Oh yeah, more of these, please. I don't know, I think I'm just killing all of them at this point, honestly. A patrol machine. Patrol this. Hey, we're friends with Svarog. Maybe you could have sent down an order from the bottom of the world up here. Being like, hey yo, don't attack the don't attack the cool guys. Being us, we're the cool guys. We move. Um back to sleep then, sleepy head. Oh wait. I think I got the punch. Yeah. Because otherwise it would have said like ambush. Which we didn't get. There's more oh my god, there's a provide support, dude. Bah, bah. Die. I dot broke him. Damn, oh my god, she's also always critting, it's nice. The battle is over. We caught them unaware. Um, yeah, I guess we got the ambush controller. Here we go, use the device encryption key. Device encryption to activate the energy core in the restricted zone. Despite apparent similarities to other cores, it is clear the energy core inside the Silvermane Guard restricted zone is highly customized by Serval, nonetheless. We're in. Uh, are you sure we should thank him? Are you sure about that? Rip it out, dude. Break the whole thing. Time. Who designed this operating system? You. It's so unintuitive. <laughs> you did. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Didn't she say like, oh, they need to think outside the box. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? <laughs> Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs. <laughs> Your you did. <laughs> Still found it. Nice. Oh. It became it. yellow energy. energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. All right, all right. Um, They're spawning so more dudes, aren't they? Won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Then what's our plan? Heal. Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Um, sure. I uh, talk. Hello. Careful. There's a big guy up ahead. Oh yeah, we didn't see him yet. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. There's a way. If we can no. beat Svarog, we can beat this one. No, let's talk. Let's go. No. <laughs> they made me believe surrender. we could talk. We must be very careful. So let's start with a get the left shield. Bada bing. Then a little nat heal. Bada boom. Now we're good to go. But we're almost through a shield. Let me through. Already. <laughs> Her damage through. Why? How? Gep E. Bam, no he's broken. Nice. We smack. We burst. <laughs> Chicken stomp. We E again. Chicken run. It's over, big guy. It's over. Let's Forfeit. Go. Bam, boop, bop. We're through. Not even a little bit difficult, guys. Get it now? Yes. That's the power of the Cloud Knights. That's the power of the Cloud Knights. I wonder Energy what the Cloud Knights stored. are all about. System online. Certification enabled. Come on. Come on. Come on. 40%. 65%, 85%. 85%. We did it. Let's go. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. All right. Winning. So, oh god. This reminds me so much. I mean, no one's going to get this reference, but Okay. We need to get to the front line. Next in RuneScape. <laughs> you have a problem. Your brother may be there. Yeah. He probably is. That's fine. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Yeah, sure. Are you sure you can convince him? Of course she can, it's her fault. I've probably got a 30% chance, or less. 30's pretty decent, I'd try 30. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. That's fine too. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing <laughs> ends in a fight. <laughs> She's right. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you This is true. Us? This is, I think she will. Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. So what if we just start killing people now? <laughs> uh, her Before wanting to see the Stellaron is pretty huge, like, to teach me some negotiation a bit skills. too huge. Beating people up Perhaps. all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fought with Jafard since he enlisted. Oh. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... But now he has thick shields, like a Geptalep should have. Okay. I'm gonna keep punching the barrels, not grab the chests. I will restore uh, this stuff, and we're definitely gonna be fighting. Here, young guard, go to restrict. But what is this? Does this just flip it again? Oh yeah, it does. So that we can go up there, by the gate, I assume. Turn clockwise. Yeah, now we can go to the gates. Leave. We have an escape route. <laughs> Kinda. There's Geptalep. I'm just gonna shield up, because we all know that it's gonna end in a fight. 
Serval. It really is you. Hey, Gep. Wait, Japard. Listen to me. <laughs> Too late. Let's fight. <laughs> when the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Right. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. <laughs> and yet. She's our leader. <laughs> Step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. More like you're similar to us, Geptalip. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Aw, Serval. Cutie. Absolute cutie. Give me a few minutes. Just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. You're a loser, Gep. Let your sister speak. What the hell? <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landals ought to know this place better than anywhere. Yeah. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Mm-hmm. Bellavog's most strategic protective fortress. Uh-huh. Every silver main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. They're all suiciding against me. They're running into me and dying, and we, we would just walk past them. If they let us. Proof, we did, when you didn't know it was us. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades They're attacking and us. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? You're cringe, Gip. Why do you think I've come here? we found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze. To seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. She's right. <laughs> Don's like smelling her hair like, wow. <laughs> What shampoo do you use? If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you, you sneak fucking into idiot. zone and create chaos? Do you not know what their relation's like? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. Uh-huh. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your <laughs> version of events? Yes. Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's- Enough. I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. Yes. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. Okay. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architect. <laughs> so true. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. That you oh my god. Destruction down upon Bellabog. Guys, forbidden knowledge. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Mm -hmm. Guards, formation. Arrest these people. <laughs> we could be inundated with fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. You're absolute numbnuts. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Boom. Kukoli is That's afraid a that sick we'll line. seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. Mm -hmm. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Mm -hmm. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. <laughs> if there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Let's go. Well said. Think thrice. No, that was well said. I like that. Save your explanation for the judge. You're going you are there. Not me, but trash talking is not good. Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. Good luck, Gap. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. Good thing we don't need it. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. <laughs> uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. <laughs> the best kind. The best kind of negotiation. Ooh, it's gonna break on my face. That's crazy. What's up, Gabby? So Think you stand a chance? Bam. Oh, we're playing in slow mo. Let's do the whole fight in slow mo. Hey, that's the real Gap. Get off him. The OG Gap the lap. Ooh. Okay, but honestly, this is slow motion. Like, I. I am willing to believe. That we're you. This is slow motion. This You're isn't one time speed. This is actually slow mo. The die is cast. That's uh, that was okay. Nah, I guess it isn't slow mo. 
It's so weird how it feels slow mo. Slice him and dice him and bird. Taste chicken. Okay, the chicken. The chicken still runs pretty fast. Oh, no, Geppy. Geppy the Leppy. Oh my goodness. Nah, but that, that bullet flying through the air in slow-mo, that's absolutely slow. -mo. My Gep versus yours. Bam. Stop. Boom. Oh, lo, 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 lo. Code of chivalry. Gep, you didn't stand a chance, brother. Yeah, nice try, dude. This guy knows how to put up a fight. No. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. This was not very difficult. He just won't go down. Oh, he's pretty down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. Uh-huh. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. <laughs> Fair enough. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. They're all dead, Jep. You did this. Even if I am. I won't yield. Well, how about you think? Use your brain. <laughs> we don't need you to yield. Come with us, young man. I don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Real. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours. Sir Balls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. She's right. Japard. Brother. Brother. Surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Yes. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. And have this letter. Lady Bronya. <laughs> Telling Gepard everything you know and showing him Bronya's letter. Get the lep. You've been with me since the start, big guy. There's nothing more to say, Gepard. The decision is yours. One of us. One of us. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Time to become an outlaw. They're standing again. They can fight again, by the way. Final answer? <laughs> the but sigh. Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front line. Ooh. According to military protocol, yeah. if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, yeah. a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Yep, I like what I'm hearing. Thank you for understanding. Is this a brainwave? This feels like a brainwave. <laughs> <laughs> nice interpretation of the rules, dude. No. <laughs> For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's Depends orders are paramount and absolute, but there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. Uh-huh. The people of Belabog. Let's go. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. No. Nah. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation, but our fight with you... I fail to see the purpose. Good man. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, mm -hmm. then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. That's what we're here for. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Bronya for your own ends... <laughs> You're right. I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. Yeah, yeah, right. Try and beat me up again. They're not lying. I promise you. <laughs> you must be Zila. <laughs> you are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Uh huh. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Ah, uh, Zila. Hmm. I'm sure. My queen. If you want to advance further northward. Mm -hmm. You must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. We'll clear it out. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. Not at times one speed, though. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Sure. Thank you. Wow, spicy. So, guys, so spicy. Young guard, complete. So, I guess we talk to our friends real quick. Uh, are these the only two friends standing around? See them. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane guards. Yeah. They're fighting for survival here every day. Listen. Just like wildfire. The people following the orders aren't very often the ones at the origin of the problem. It's usually the people that give the orders that are rotten to the core. The difference is we're making a stand for freedom. Mm -hmm. Well, they're just carrying out orders. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's why we have to try and put ourselves in their shoes. Do you understand Branya's struggles? No, I don't really care about either of these. It's time to finish I think this. I can already hear the storm on the other side of the city walls. <laughs> <sighs> the 
Not a reassuring oh. sound. So can I, jeez. I hope Sir Val's right. That supreme lunatic <laughs> better not have harmed Bronnie. <laughs> exactly, lunatic. Good terms, good terms, Sir Val. You see? Mm-hmm. Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. Yeah, I know. It's sometimes I wish I had a sister as well. It was pretty close. <laughs> Sorry for getting you involved with this. <sighs> Enough apologizing. My ears can't take anymore. All right. Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. Okay, well then, no problem. <laughs> Let the stellar hunt begin. Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable <laughs> job. It's time to get even. It also gave you that nice, stable Actually, job initially. I have another selfish motive. There you go. I want to prove to Cocolia that I was right. I respect it. Once we've taken care of the Stellaron, maybe she'll go back to how she was. I respect it. Sorry, I do think that as well. the time for me to be obsessing over all this. Oh, you're apologizing too? My ears can't take it anymore. I got as this. As I mentioned, if we want to progress <laughs> further north, we're gonna have to cross that hell. Still, look at it this way. Just another arena to showcase our skills, right? Yes. Now, if you're ready to get on stage, let's push for that standing ovation. Ah, uh, I love your stupid music puns. Keep them up. I love it here. <laughs> Boom, all right. Gep, what's up, big guy? What you got for us? As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. Sure. The guards will do full their force. best to stall them and buy you some time. Okay. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. I understand. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the northern fragmentum. Deal. So, have you made up your minds? Yes. We're ready. Let me in. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Pulls out baseball bat. He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Open the gate. Okay. Whoa, this is a cool, this is a really cool shot. Admit. Oh, nice foot, dude. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? Yes. It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> the guys we beat well, up. I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. <laughs> for universal peace, for Bellabog, for Bright. She would, she want me to say Branya, but I'd say for Bellabog, for Gep. Here they come. <laughs> Steal yourselves. I get it. I'm a thief. We're actually fighting. We're actually fighting. What? I thought you guys were going to take cover for us or whatever. Three waves, bro. What do you mean? Get this dude. Mm. Mm. All right. Times two speed. He's gone. He is decimated. Get him. Get him. Oh my God. Gep is actually helping us. Oh yeah. You think you stand a chance, Missy? Ba ba. Oh, absolutely destroyed. This guy? Bam. Stomped on. Oh. How many of them are there? It's fine. Last wave. Watch. Destroyed. <laughs> she just one shots them. I love her. Oh, wait. She also does. Never mind. Ow. Stop punching my guitar, girl. This is why I'm sad that I got the, um, the five star from the banner. Because... He's cool, but I already had an AoE electric character, which was Serval, and now it feels like Serval is just not my best choice anymore, and I hate that. Anyway, we slayed them. Geb, you're right, bro. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. Dumbass. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. Sit down is what you have to, and get some rest. Hey, Mr. Silvermane. Listen to your sister. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <laughs> I like how Zila doesn't speak often, but when she does, everyone just quiet and listens, you know, and believes it. Outsiders, Zila. Yeah. The second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. What are they attacking waves? Huh? Uh, Sir Val, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? Has to take care of little bro. My brother can't hold them back by yeah. himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility. You're so cute. Besides, uh -huh. if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. Not gonna lie, I gotta agree with that. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. Can we bring it back? Can we, like, bring it to you? Probably a bad idea. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. Yeah. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Aw, oh, Serval. 
Damn. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Let's go. All right. We won't disappoint your charge. <laughs> nah, bro. None of this charge fucking role play. Hey, March. Don't forget to take exactly. the Stellaron for me. Exactly. Of course. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. She's gonna forget. All right. This is cool. I'm so excited. I would probably have ended around here, but nah. This is so spicy. We, we going. We moving. Uh, hello. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Hello. Something's happening on Eurelos. This would be such a cliffhanger if I ended here. Shouldn't we go down there, Hemiko? I like how it's still just that stupid music I put on here, and it's just every. It takes away so much seriousness. <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. Mm -hmm. How will she be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Oh God. <laughs> Are you bored, Welt? I understand, but we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Wow. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. So you Thumbnail. think we'll be safe, right? <laughs> yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Okay. Max. You've just jinxed us. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off-site assistance. Uh-huh, like using your satellite. <laughs> really, that was it. Just the tiniest cutscene. this? The fragmentum Jepard was talking about? Oh, so impressive. Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. I don't know, I'm not that overwhelmed yet. It doesn't, it's like not that crazy. There's a restless atmosphere here. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Belabar. Yeah. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Doesn't sound too bad. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? No. It feels like, like there are loads of eyes staring at us. Really? I don't feel it. <laughs> this place makes my flesh crawl. Yeah. Like there are insects under my skin. Ugh, they'll say that. We have no guide Ugh. in the of detecting the stellar. <laughs> we'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. I think of these primo gems on her dress. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Okay. Well, the more uncomfortable we find, f feel, the better it is, I guess. Bam. Oh, you can just leave. <laughs> you can just go back home. Oh, look at that dude. He's looking at us from his old lookout. Oh, look. Up ahead on the ground. What is that? What? Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the fragmentum. Wow. Well, okay. This is... There are so many things. Mechanic... Objects that have been exposed to fragmentum corrosion might oh. not be stable. Okay. I wouldn't touch that device if I were you. Sure. I will get shield. Punch this. Although it has been affected by corrosion. Punch this. I don't care about no corrosion. <laughs> Investigate. Is... Really? We found it in the orphanage. Could she be here too? Right. She must be. This can't be a coincidence. Can it like twist reality to make us believe things, perhaps? Whoa! Quick, look! Where? Uh oh. That's Ronya. Oh. Huh? Is that Kokolia too? Why is Kokolia just so tiny? I thought she was like hella tall. Maybe because she was always on that stage. No, it isn't them. So they can make us imagine things in these areas. It must be a kind of echo. Wow. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. So we can compare this to ley lines. Which means they were definitely here, right? I don't know. And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Uh-huh. Let's go. Moving. Cool. Items obtained. It's the snow globe. No way. Bronya's toy as a child. The snowy owl circles above the snowfields looking for the best opportunity to hunt the hare, which is the cutest bunny I've ever seen. Even if our connection with the past is completely broken, there are still things that can complete us. Stop singing. Mm. 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 Ooh. Whoa, this movement. Bah. Bah. Okay, sorry. Still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. Mother? 700 years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border. 700? And the site of That's an more than... battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silvermane guards in resistance against the Legion. More than Conria. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Okay. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Bronya. 
On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. You're being baited. Uh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? No. It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. Exactly. It destroyed our civilization. It thank you, Branya. You're gonna get screamed at, but thank you. And yet, the crime of our ancestors was their inability to embrace that destruction sooner. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what an idiot. From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. The Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. <laughs> she is insane is pay in the not right sense. Wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. Oh my god. This is the price the Stellaron demands. Sure. When the promise is fulfilled, Branya, no longer will we have to under our lives, guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. Oh my god. What is it like? Ignorance is bliss? Is that, is that, was that the term? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Potential thumb, though. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Oh my god, we don't have Serval anymore, either. Uh, I knew this wouldn't be simple. They probably climbed over this. <laughs> oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty mm -hmm. area? Sure was. Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. But Don Hong said I wasn't allowed to touch it. I can't say I like the idea of interacting with there our you surroundings. Go. Especially this deep into the fragmentum. Yeah. Well. However. It's the only choice. However. There's no other. We're oh. deep inside the. Let's look for other clues. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. I wanted to do something while he was talking. That was it? That worked? Huh. One out of four? Ah, but bros if... It worked, right? Yeah, I mean, kinda. But the gate didn't move an inch. Yes, it did. A light turned on and we need to find three more. Are there other units around? Uh-huh. Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through <laughs> too easily. Mm-hmm. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Sure, they are marks. That's a nice change. Oh my! Oh Look, my God! Over there, I think I can see the next unit. Yeah, well, I saw an enemy that has now disappeared. Oh, I see it too. Let's go. <laughs> what was the point of the interaction? Please be weak to physical. Yeah. Bam! Ooh, that was so close to me being ambushed. Ooh, big, big, big damage. I probably shouldn't have chickened. Battle over. This looks crazy. What's what's going on here? What is making stink? Oh, please, puzzle. Why'd they, they, why'd they remove the puzzles? We're back at this? No, this is a different one. Ah, that does not make me happy. Hello. Good set. Ew, they're so fast. My E is so risky to hit because they move so quick. Oh my god. Decimation. Dead. Dead. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Well, they're dead. It seems like it. Strange. What? Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man-made objects. Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, that's a big hint. That's definitely saying something like, usually, Fragmentum monsters just, like, are clueless. But it feels like, it feels like they're maybe Did being led. That? This mechanism must be on now. Yes. Come on, let's find the next one. Thanks for the interjection, March. Very, Where very... Is oh, my God. Mechanism. Oh, behind that gate. I know. There's no switch. I know. We need to find a way around. I know. <laughs> I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivetown, you could tell that people used to live there. Well, Rivetown I feel like those is only at the outstretched fingertips those of the corrosion. Those look pretty habitable. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. Sure. Let me twist this. Uno mas. Should have just done one counterclockwise, but hey, guess what? That doesn't make me any wiser. <laughs> Clockwise, wise, get it. What is that thing? What in the world? Ah! Fragmented phenomenon I haven't seen before. I knew we were gonna DM Welt. Hey, yo, Welty, what's this, bro? <laughs> Appears to be a rift in space, torn open by the fragmentum as it erodes reality. The scientific name for this phenomenon is called Cavern of Corrosion. 
No one knows for sure what kind of space the caverns are connected to. However, research does indicate that valuable reality data is often scattered within these caverns. As with the calyxes, the derivatives, I don't know how to pronounce that, of the fragmentum always carry unidentified risks. Please exercise extra caution if you wish to explore further. Defeat enemies to obtain relics. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. You can farm artifacts. We love artifacts. Yeah, let's do a run. Yeah, difficulty one. Let's go with that. Oh, hello. Silver wolf's out, apparently. <laughs> Common Nas L. What the hell? Toxic. All right, Zila's gonna hard carry me, though. I did one, so I didn't have max resin. So you guys wouldn't get mad at me. Wow, purples already? Wait, you just get purples? That's crazy. And this gives us a lot of artifact XP as well. This is actually really good, I think. <laughs> attack effect hit rate. And I think it can only be attack main stat. So I think that for early game, really good piece. Nice, dude. Artifact farming. You guys want to see building videos on this game? Like shorter type <gasps> videos for Star Rail? I'm I think they you. could be pretty neat. Ooh, got him. Easy enough. So here would be another one. Oh, we we'll grab that as well. The That's the power of the Cloud Knights. If the Cloud Knights look anything like her aesthetically, I'm gonna love the Cloud Knights. All right, third thing you open. What's next? I want to ask you a question. Yeah, ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? Yes. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Weird thing. <laughs> Give a half-hearted attempt. <laughs> Kills your eyes won't expect you to remember anything, and yet the voice comes to you. <laughs> <laughs> I am the danger. <laughs> Stop it. Well, uh, I heard it. There was a voice. <laughs> Try to repeat the whispers. Danger. <laughs> this is merely speculation. <laughs> but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia. Oh yeah, definitely. And the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Yeah, for sure, dude. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I don't know. I've never heard that before. Yeah, well, uh, I, there's many things we haven't heard yet, March. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. This is true. The Stellaron knows we're here. And it has already warned Kokolia. Then... Aren't we walking straight into a trap? Nah, they're underestimating us. We'll just beat them up. Yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Yep. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. Mm-hmm. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. It would be... It would be evil. It would be mean to leave now after everything we've done to everyone. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. Yeah. Well, At least there is. Won't catch us off guard now. So what? There you it's go. There you go. We're not about to lose now. Let's go. I have to save Branya. Yes. Kokolia. Mm -hmm. Crush the Stellaron thing to dust. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's the mindset. That's what we like to see. We open this now. No need for hacking. I feel like they could have made way more of those little puzzles. They were fun. Um, and this time. Uh, this right? We need to flip it. You want to get to the other side? Yeah, it's easy. We'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. You think you're telling me something new, Don Hong? We go counterclockwise. There you go. Don Hong out here thinking he's a criminal mastermind. He doesn't know I've played many puzzles on the phone while on the restroom. I actually am pretty excited about the artifact farming, you know? Even though they're gonna be whack, I'm sure, and eventually we'll get way better pieces. I'm like excited to spend my resin on it, get some good stuff maybe. Ooh, maybe even record it? Yeah, I'm excited for that. Cheese. No and here is now. our final men in the bit of the hub. Power. Mechanical energy hub, whatever it was. Fourth thingy. It opened. The thing is, right? If it's a trap, Done. why would they make it's us go through all this? Finally crack these mechanisms. If anything, it gave us time to realize it was a trap. Uh, are these echoes too? Uh, ah, yeah. Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. But Branya too. All right, friends. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. Yep. Can 
all of them have been wrong, Mother. I mean, the thing is, as long as you don't commit to it, how do you how do you word this? As long as you don't commit to it, the next generation has a chance. But if she commits to it, like you'll never know whether it's right or wrong until you do it. And since no one's done it, I don't know how to I don't know how to say what I'm trying to convey. Do you still not see, Bronya? There is no right or wrong here. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Some of them acted out of human pride. Others out of human short-sightedness. And what are you acting out of? Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand. Yeah. Spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Uh-huh. Then after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. Okay. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity but couldn't spare the time to gaze up <laughs> into the stars you're you're actually nuts to those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above a thousand years is but a passing moment the attainments of insignificant beings nothing more than a footnote mm -hmm. i shall not follow the guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. Mm -hmm. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. Interesting take. But Klipoth, the preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Yes. Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? Yes. The preservation. <laughs> has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architect. She's just making all the decisions by herself now. All right. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Why do they sound so scary, though? Then you will understand my choice. Mm-hmm. Scary stuff. Scary stuff, I tell you. Back to the front door. Here we go, through the gates. Uh, big evil person. Whoa, check Whoa. this. Out. I am. Tables and sentry posts? Yeah. There must have been silver main guards stationed here once. Yeah. If there were. Oh my god. I, I, Looks like another completely new monster. I try my best to avoid skipping dialogue all the time. <laughs> but I walk like two steps. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. Yeah. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. I I am not a fan of masks, you know. Masks kind of scary. Anyway, weak to physical. Oh, almost punched me. I like the staff though. Kind of cool staff. Battle start. We chicken on top of it. We're almost through the shield already. I think you get another turn after chickening. Yep, we're through the shield. She is getting demolished, this lady. She also has an echoey voice. Recovered from break already. All right, skill punishment. Oh, right. I fought this thing before during an event. It's actually really annoying. <laughs> when you use a skill, it deals damage to you. We're hella strong, so I'm just gonna beat her up anyway with my E. Don't care. <laughs> For your sins, shut up. Stop talking to me. If my chicken girl gets a turn, she's gone. We should probably kill the guys on the side as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we didn't proc. Shot. No. Boom. Retribution. Retribution? <laughs> Do you look? <laughs> Just a little Hello? Are we a Dawn Winery, perhaps? Oh, it's never lucky. We eat and get another turn then. No, we don't. I wish. <laughs> he burned. I'm losing my way. You're gone. Easy. This enemy is completely different. Uh huh. I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum. I think we were fighting a human. But they were definitely humanoid. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. Yeah. It seems to be able to use complex tactics. Sure. Look, Branya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. And they were not attacked, I'd assume. The voice is getting clear. I'm starting to feel hazy. Hey, stay with it. This is the final push. I'm trying. I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. <laughs> it's getting cold. <laughs> I feel it. What do you got to say for yourself this, this time? This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. Okay. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. 
She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. Well, the thing is, people were just trying to hold them back and not trying to prevent them from coming in the first place. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. Uh-huh. As for what came later, you know as well as I. This. So, the eternal freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've, I've obviously picked my side, but I find this all hard to believe. <laughs> Ironic, no? <laughs> Hilarious, all the Steven. All did yeah. was answer humanity's call. Mm -hmm. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. You know what? Actually, I do believe that, but it's like... Someone wished for something, and this is the answer that Stellaron gave, which obviously wasn't what the human meant. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. <sighs> Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. Okay. It? Well, something created I was using say, what is it? technology. Oh. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. Really? Oh. I know you have many questions, my daughter. She's insane though. She keeps laughing Soon maniacally. All the answers. Wow. <laughs> Scary. Scary business, guys. I'm very excited though. Get us in. Here's more puzzling. Wow, so much exploration to do on this planet. I think I'd do it per planet. Uh, he hello. No, no, no. No need. No need. I'm not going that way, it seems. That's exploration. I'm going left. So, after all, I am here for. I don't have points. <laughs> Every time I walk up to someone, I start screaming and scared. Oh, this thing is weak now. You're weak. Decimated. Gone. Neat. Hey, that's the real one. No? Is it the real one? Cocolia? Where Bronita? It's that shadow of her. Oh, it is the shadow. But Bronya's isn't with her this time. Bronya's been disposed of. This looks like a boss battle area. Let's get a closer look. It's only an illusion. Look at that, I stopped one step like before. This echo is different from the others before. It looks clearer. It looks like HD or uh, uh oh. Did, did she just speak? <laughs> you cannot approach. Oh. Not good. March. Out the way. I think. Is this to us or is this to Branya? Oh what? What? So what? You go no. Really? Uh, are you sure this isn't the real her? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was the real one. Fortress. It might look like a friend can only Okay. Um I will speed this up. I'm not fighting this in slow-mo. Fast motion. Fast motion doesn't even feel fast anymore. Get her. Even get the lep doesn't super super effective on her? Uh oh. She's spawning things? Oh wait, I should have totally hit the icicle. Ah, never mind. I'll AoE it. Ow! Ow! What's this icicle baloney, Kokolia? Gone is what it is. Bam. AoE her. How did it not die? Die. <laughs> Got it. Hey! I'm the freeze guy. What is going on? This is gonna hurt. We need to stop her. Crowd controller! Yes! Show me what you can- Freeze! Gep! Oh no! Gep was crowd controlled. It's doomed, guys. We're dead. Whoa! Wait, that move makes me believe she's gonna be playable someday. What? She has an animation? It was like a zoom in on her face. See, this is a bit rougher than Gep the Lep already. Rise, Venus. Bonk. Oh, I thought it was someone else. I thought it was her. Big damage. Punch. Shield recovered. Sad. Her moves are so cool, though. I'm doomed to fail, you say? Did you consider that I could play a guitar solo on you? I already broke your thing. Just, just beat it up. Homemade crushed ice. <laughs> I got it, you. Thanks, Akolia. Stop. That's guaranteed freeze. It's so broken. I'll show you some freezing. Beat her up. Freezer. Maybe she can't be frozen, you know? We're frozen. We can't do anything. We're sad. This is such a crazy move. Oh, you're gone. Oh, you're gone. You're just a clone, but you're still gone. 
Bonk. Wow, she was fake. She disappeared. She was fake. Stairs. It's the only way forward. Stairs. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. Wow. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. <laughs> I feel that. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. Uh-huh. It's all in our hands. Oh, wow. Strange. That's hype. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid. Uh-huh. But I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Yeah, well, I don't think it is. Is this how trailblazing expeditions usually come to an end? <laughs> These two have gotten pretty used to them. <laughs> Resting forever in the snow plains, that wouldn't be so bad. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. To be honest... You never really get used to them. I believe that. We always used to rely on Himeko and Mr. Yang. Really? The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. Right, right. That you have no influence over whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. Yeah. But... There are always times when we have no choice but to act. All right, easy argument, huh? Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first <laughs> trailblazing expedition. <laughs> you hit the jackpot. Yeah, I loved it. Thanks. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections. Wow, it would have been hypocritical. Thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too Wow, too even Sila being cute? Right on. But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. She's right on that too. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. <laughs> this is the spirit of trailblazing. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, the motivated nod. I love it. 50k XP over now. Did you see that? What the hell? Ever Winter Hill. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today. No, I just can't, can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, that's Kokoli. It has to be. May encounter. Can't even click it. Decaying shadow. Everwinter. This is crazy. All right. The team must include the trailblazer. <laughs> she. All right. Well, then, in that case, as much as I love Chicken Girl, we are going to have two. First of all, we got one of these again. I'm not sure how we got this anymore, but it's pretty nice. And we got one of these. A distracting glance. So attacking crit. Oh, crit rate is increased on breaks sure we're gonna put my relics on her again i had these on her originally but then i wanted to play chicken girl so chicken girl got all the relics and i'm gonna put them back on mc traces let's level up her talents a bit as well and now i'm short on these so i guess that's all we're gonna get to do there you go this would have been the other team i would have ran uh, it says we need some other elements i'm probably gonna lose the first go because the only electro i have is serval actually i have the other Electro guy. Should we go him? It just feels less cool. Okay, you know what? I'll give you some of this guy's gameplay. Maybe you want to see it. This is going to be real spicy. Oh, it's freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Oh, the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron. And the heart of the Eternal Freeze. Oh, wow. This is cool. It's like a, an open domain. You pick your characters, but you still walk around in here first. That's so crazy. Why is this here? Trying to bait me into some. This is so cool. Oh, frozen horseman. <laughs> More stairs. This is going to be so cool when we get on top. Frozen remains of Void Ranger scatter along the mountain path. Even the rootless animate antimatter legion is helpless against the might of the eternal freeze. The Void Ranger remains are preserved remarkably well on the ice. You can't help but wonder. Maybe March 7 is right. Right. Either way, what you think is it's best not to unfreeze them. Yeah, maybe March was preserved like this. Architects built this. I don't know. Very, Very different, different from oh. the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? Oh, you're right. These are fingers. But wait, we're only 69 meters away. <laughs> I have to go get some lunch. So. I'll see you after. Hello, guess who's if back? Kokolia threatens us by taking what is that thing? hostage. Yeah. We have to save her. The underworld. Yeah. No, the entire planet relies on her. It relies on us. What is this? Look, it's so crazy. How a sustenance anchor. Like you can't teleport. You can just suck health out of it. Oh my god, it's recharging. In 49 seconds, it'll be fully healed. Perfect. Good to see. All right. Um. Well, I I think we're ready. 
this is definitely a battle arena. If anything is a battle arena, <laughs> this, this has to be it. Hello, friends. Good to see you all. I'm uh, gonna be exploring first. Hope you don't mind. Oh, no, I couldn't explore. No. Branya, I've come to save you. Do My queen. Not resist, Branya. No. Accept the common will. No, what the hell is happening to your mouth, scat man? No! Want this. Run away. Look upon their promised future, Branya. No. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. You are so gillable. No longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. Mm hmm. A world that we can guard for all eternity. I don't believe it. 700 years ago, we tried and fought. Oh, maybe it's 200 years in the future from Genshin. <laughs> the radiance of. Human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Yes, better to sell your soul. Why? When so many medals. Irrefutable strength is our first thought always to resist. To cover our ears instead of hearing the call. Because you want to fight for what's right. Cocolia. It is the conceit. And cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. <laughs> so difficult to efface. Mm -hmm. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. Uh -huh. Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. <laughs> Enough! Your brainwashing ends here, you wait! <laughs> Her voice was starting to crack as well. We are going to take over the world. Zila. Yeah, well, she came as soon as you left a letter, you numb nut. You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. No. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Oh, damn. Branya. Oh, damn. I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. Mm -hmm. But there are two things I do know. Oh, that's gonna be cute. One, these guys have come through hell to get here. <laughs> Seal this Stellaron thing. <laughs> and two, do you remember what I said? Uh huh. If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Uh huh. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise. Then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. <laughs> we need you. Bellabog needs you, Branya. Zila, all of you. I like the music too. It's so nice and tense. <laughs> Finished. I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. Wow. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Uh huh. Branya. Uh oh. <laughs> the moment of truth. I want to witness your choice. Oh. Well, that's easy. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. That's it? There are and there? More secrets between us. To me, it feels like it's been sealed to use its power, <laughs> not really to praise it or whatever. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. Mm hmm. I was no different from the previous generations of guardians. I withdrew, refused you were right to hear. At the time, I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. Yeah. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Why was it flickering? Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. Mm-hmm. A subversion of the old order and the welcoming of a new world sure and compared to the illusory ever more distant preservation this was so tangible you're delusional silence i have agonized long agonized over how to convey all this to you mm-hmm Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, yeah, then I would descend into torment. 
Branya. Enduring torment. Why didn't you just tell her this from the start? I feel like it would have been so much easier. You know? Maybe she would have trusted you. But now she's on our side. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. Uh-huh. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Yep. Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. Mm -hmm. You have always, will always have a choice. I respect this. As then, so now. See, this makes me feel like she still has so much good in the bottom, but has just been manipulated so much. It's such a shame. Choose, my daughter. Here we go. Good luck, Branya. Have fun. <clears throat> <laughs> It feels like she she's acting like it's a tough choice. Madam Kokoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. This is a cool face off. But I I am sorry, mother. <laughs> On this our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Wow. Wow. You say Damn. that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. Uh-huh. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. Mm -hmm. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Yep. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. We built this city. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart. We should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. True. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. True. <laughs> Did they say pussy? <laughs> okay. Well, that's the signal. We are guardians, mother. Chosen from among the masses. Mm -hmm. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. Oh, that's respectable. You Commendable to mindset. You crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. Let's go, Branya. So, this is your choice. Mhm. Mm I understand, Branya. Do you? Are you sure you do? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not confident. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. Alright, that's enough. That's enough of this. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. She never wanted to. Uh oh. <laughs> it's shaking. What's happening? Are we like standing on top of some kind of boss? Bad sign. Oh, I love when the ground's shaking. Usually means good stuff, right? Bellabog is sealed. Mm -hmm. Its future will unfold in our hands. All right. And you will become the foundation <laughs> of the new world. I can't even be eliminated. <laughs> I have a Stellaron in me. I am the new world. You must break oh. the old to build the new. Cutscene. The Supreme Guard oh, commands wow. you. Rise, engine of creation. Yep. Yep, yeah, all right. Figured as much. <laughs> oh, God. I'm running with my baseball bat out. Wow. Now this. This is a twist and a half. So we are standing on top of it, eh? This is so cool. Look at it. Uh-huh. But I bet a thousand times dumber. Wait, what the hell? We're fighting. Boom, slow mo. We are dealing damage. All right, I'm using my E. Why does he feel so weak? Uh oh. Yo, there's. It's like super interactive. I might not cut any of this. We do. Okay, let's leave this whole thing in. Let's witness the stress of the fight together. Um, I should probably just use this. I, I'm a bit scared, but I love that about this. We go again. 
I'm, I definitely need to use my things more. Oh, negative energy. Good thing I used that. I should have... Oh, that was a mistake by me. I should use these two the as well. Lend, will I'm learning. It's okay. Never when there's little ball enemies, definitely use your bursts. Just, just a little something. And then <laughs> kill them. Then you regen everything and you're looking good. Easy tank. Easy tank. Get the leptif. Oh, wow. This is actually a tough wave. The middle one is mad annoying. I... I don't think we can shield breaker at any point either. We're just actually gonna have to deal a ton of damage. Oh, another thing about this character. Very cool. You see, there's this thing right here. I think the more moves you use, the more charged it gets. And when it gets a turn, it, like, it's a separate attack. It's fine. We literally shield it all of it. Let's just kill the waves first. We, do, we get rid of these people first. Here, look. And it does damage. <laughs> Nine stack of gauge recollection. Gauge, gauge, that's what you call it. Lost one stack of... Okay, so when you punch her, she loses stacks. Can we get through her? Yeah, I think I think we're good. Q, Q. Hey, let's go, battle over. Okay. Time for the real thing. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Oh. Sample fucking Koski? <laughs> Why did that blow up? That's gotta be Sabo fucking Koski. Bombs? Himeko. Oh, Himeko. <laughs> Why do I think Sampo? It'd be so funny though. Hello? Can you see? There's the signal stairs. <laughs> Hello? Himeko, you finally spared a thought for us. <laughs> She's been watching. What are you talking about? Well, then I've been up on this. Thing you the time. <laughs> On your hands. <laughs> I love her. So, how did that guy work? I don't know. Importantly, how do you stop him from working? I don't know. Over to you guys, I guess. Wow, really? Ah, but man. Oh! Oh! What the hell? First person Yamakasi scene out here. Careful of the robots. Thanks, Branya. <laughs> She's got some impeccable aim, though. Uh oh. Zila! What the hell? Why is everyone so cool? She just yeeted me up here. They're hitting us with like the most badass cutscene from the start. What? It still feels like the start of the game to me. Thanks, Don. <laughs> the whole gang! Is it a 1v1? Imagine. Yo. Yeah, I was worried about this. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. So that's what her hand was. I remember seeing that. She's like void. Do you not realize what you've done to yourself? Yeah, for me to get rid of it. Just as it dispelled the antimatter legion 700 years ago. Mm hmm. So too will it wipe you from the face of this world! This is nuts. It is a 1v1! No way! But I'm gonna have to get assistance. I'm not getting through this. Uh, I'm not even doing anything. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. Watch this. Super slow-mo bat swing, because I'm cooler than you. Okay, I'm going fast motion. Uh, I'm just gonna AoE every time I can. Let's make it quick. Oh, we take multiple Deploy turns. Oh, wow. Yeah. Welt? Someone? Mother of deception. Deception, you say? Humanity. So weak and You're not Kokolia. Always overestimating their abilities. What are you doing right now? You're doing- you're Let such a hypocrite. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll see it. Show me the despair. I have friends though. Power of friendship. Oh, I'm dead. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Really? Really now? What? The climax. It's gone. Where am I? Uh-oh. Oh, I bet we're not done yet. Like, we're not allowed to die. The Stellaron won't allow us. But I was fighting Kokolia. 
Why am I here? We died, but our task isn't finished yet. This is just like that other boss fight when we were still on the uh, on the space station. The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? Yes. <laughs> am I in here? What? What? Find a way to escape the strange space and return to reality. I wanted to take a picture. This is amazing. It's the abyss. Straight up the abyss. What the hell? Look at our footsteps leaving behind little drops. Little ripple effects. The commercial district has fallen. We've oh. transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. Oh, it's Kolia. But I... Yeah. Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not oh, sure no. that they're dead. I saw their broken figures. Well, there's the truth. Lingering in the fragmentum. So soldiers become these weird monster what things. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... Damn. She doesn't I care. I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. I'm sorry, Gep. I hate it. Oh my god, that is crazy. Just like this place in general, it looks amazing. Here's another memory. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this Survive. what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of this our is predecessors, cool. their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. Damn. Serval's been you trying forever. need to come to your senses, Serval. Come to my senses? What are you... <laughs> Guards! Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. She's laughing though. Stir <laughs> her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Wow. Why? She was getting too close. Why have you grown so cold? Too close to the truth. Serval Landau. You were my most cherished friend. Wow. There is no reason. Okay, but if you hear this and it's your closest friend, you start to doubt this voice, no? Dude. Madam Kakolia, the monsters are just soldiers. This way. It's too dangerous here. What is she doing? Foolish. Weak. What is this move? What? <laughs> Madam, what are you saying? Only I. Only I can understand. Uh -oh. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Uh-huh. Oh. He's dead, Madame Kukolia. Feast on their willful ignorance. Yeah, there you go. Absolve them of their stupidity. She's feeding them. Fear. Oh, what the hell? A thing spawned. I couldn't see what it was though. The moon is shattered, or whatever it is. Mother, I still don't understand. This must have been recent, like very recent. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. Oh, never mind. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? It is not recent. These automatons will ensure their safety. The right. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. <laughs> Easy. These are the choices we make, Branya. Definitely said some of that before. Harbor the courage and foresight to choose. Yeah. Well, you, me, it's gone great so far. And every silver main guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? <laughs> Today's that day. A higher mission. And you've chosen us. <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. I hope so. Well, you've picked our side, so I'm happy. Oh. Wait. 
Is that the little kid from like the Fragmentum or something that we saw? Oh, a long time ago. I did a side mission. Who are you? The city is drowning in tears. That sword. The power of the preservation is fading. Uh oh. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Huh? Macaulay abandoned the preservation. This is not what the preservation would have wanted. Ah, a believer, I see. <laughs> Why are you a little girl? For the past seven hundred years, uh -huh. there is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Hmm. Only despair. Hard to believe. To see the home we vowed to preserve wither away. Mm -hmm. That in itself is torture. Yeah. I get what you're saying. You think this is a faceless child? I think that's so creepy. But it's not looking at us, so. That's why we get, get rid of it now. Yeah, well, the Guardian's will has weakened. Some people can't be swayed. Then. Let others carry the will of the preservation. Dumbass. <laughs> you. Oh, do you have a face? You are oh, you do. Stranger to us. Yeah. And yet, you seek to bond your destiny to ours. That's what Kafka told me to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just crafting my own path, carving my own path. So be it. Exactly. Hey, you know what? At least that's some that's a good mindset for this. Touch Give it a shot. Amber, I will. See if your will can their case. I'll do my best. Thank you, little champ. Let me pat you on the head. Pat pat. pat, pat. <laughs> on a walk up. On a walk up the spiraling thing. The Amber. There are so many key instruments in this. Here we go. I did it. I grasped it. Oh! Oh! I'm... No way! Is this how this happens? I think I've seen what's... Like, the consequence of what's gonna happen here. Yay! Get it out of here! Yup, that's cool. Oh my god, no way. No way. <laughs> that is so badass, what the hell? Okay, so I've heard a million times about Fire MC. Yo. It is. Yo. Even if we are doomed to destruction. I'm tearing up already. <laughs> Not gonna lie, stop the fight. Into the darkness. No, that end won't come to pass while we're around. Dude. That's so crazy. The Stellaron changes everything. The Stellaron changes everything. Yo! An ally's locked on. Please use my skill. Skill can taunt enemies and draw attacks. Really? I become a tank. I shield myself, it seems, as well. Here. This music, Here's too! What's going on? This is crazy! <laughs> I, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> not gonna lie, was not prepared. Whoa! On the drop? Holy shit. Let's see this thing. Magma will is accumulated when I'm attacked. Okay. Consume four stacks and it will enhance the basic attack. I see. Bam! Nice. <laughs> No crit, sad. I will speed it up a little bit. Conflict is pitiless. Conflict is pitiless. We good. Oh, I got more stacks. I have four again. The engine of creation is activated. Use it to destroy the lance of eternal freeze. What are you? Oh my god! 
<laughs> what the hell? An ally targets action can charge charge the engine to unleash preservation. Oh, no way. This is the same as like the uh, the unlimited universe. I forgot the name. I'm gonna use blast again. It was so cool. Dude, I have the burst. I want to see it so bad. I think we break the shield first though. It, okay, it's back now. I'm going to... I'm just going to press all my buttons, actually. Because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. The music is so good. And the way they brought this to me is so hype as well. It was different. Let's see my burst. Wait, it, it was it everyone? Yeah, this must be special for this fight? Oh my god. Okay, I think we wait. I don't know if there's a hint. I should use my E. There's no time to lose. You're right, there isn't. Uh, do I have to wait for the arm to do something, or should I just the press it? Here, like this. The Celeron changes everything. How about it crush your ass? <laughs> How about that? I, yeah. This time I'm prepared. I'm willing. Yo. Okay, there we go. We get no time when she's broken, by the way. Like, it lasts for about zero seconds. We definitely want to taunt. How do I know my taunt is active? Is this it? Shield. It's just a shield. I need to taunt again. Do it. Oh, here it is. Taunts. I could have seen here. Maybe she was still taunted. Nobody knows. <laughs> I can do this again. Ow, soul rend my ass. Bonk! Our tur oh, oh, lord, yeah, I should have waited for that, eh? Whoopsie. It actually shows all the characters, that's so cool. Bada bing. Enhanced basic attack, again. Maybe I should get rid of the things on the side. Yeah, they hurt. They hurt, ah ha ha ha, they hurt a lot. Never Mother of Deception. It's like, just, just a little to me, it sounds like it's not her. You have my gratitude. Mother of Deception. Oh, we AOE winning. AOE again, winning. <laughs> Show no mercy. The music makes everything sound so much more badass. Five percent health. You're gone. Okay, first health bar gone. She's back. Or was never really gone. Truly. Heal yourself. I'm very worried. Uh, I don't think we can freeze her. Should we provoke her? What is this? What is happening? I can't see my cursor. There's too many effects on the screen. <laughs> I can't see my cursor. <laughs> I guess I can't. Um, I'll try and prov- I'll just punch. I don't know. Uh-oh. The power of the Stellaron is with me! Uh-oh. You are but the old world. Soon to become ashes. <laughs> okay. I thought I'm the pyro one. You're cryo. Oh my god. Quite literally, unknown god. Recovered from imprisonment. I didn't even know I was in prison in the first place. Get him. Uh oh. Uh, can we just press this? Bonk the ball. Bonk. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. I should probably just use it ASAP. I think Nat is currently uh, caught. Follow my charge. All right. I tried to taunt. What is it showing? It's going too fast. I want to see that slow. Uh oh. Oh, uh, here we go again. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Good thing I used to heal myself. Could end a lot worse. Catch this, knucklehead. We can use big move again. Bonk. Alright. Oh, that break did so much damage. Should I just punch her as she's down? I've been told it's not very gentlemanlike to do that. Get him, Gep! Iconic moment where Gep the left turns against his principles and helps us fight. Despite not being welcomed in our team at the start, I was merely mad. The god punches from the skies, twice! Mother of Deception, 
Mother of Deadception, when I'm done with you. <laughs> 3% health. How cool would it be, though, if we could finish the job ourselves? I recover from imprisonment, and I will destroy you with it. She's frozen, guys. I've done it. I'm sorry, Kokolia. I believe in the real you, not this you. Uh oh. Oh, it's inside of her? Okay, well, good thing there's a barrier. Don't worry, guys, I'll suck it up. Holy shit. The sweet release. Sorry, Kokolia. If only you had more willpower. The eternal freeze is gone? Is that what's happening? Is that how easy it was? It's over. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't know. Big claim. Yeah. Mother. Did you wake up from that dream? Hopefully we'll get to know, but I tend to uh, think that we will never know. Wow. That was a tough trailblazing expedition. <laughs> She's always on the grind. We made it. But, yeah. Uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? I don't know. It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I think I'll just suck it up, guys. It's uh, it feels like that's gonna be my job in this. I'm just gonna be sucking up a lot of Stellarons this whole game. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. Oh. They'll steal the Stellaron. Perfect. Nice. Nice. The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Well, not re who who's who's in power now? Who's in charge? Hmm. <laughs> Storm still rages on. <laughs> We're not welcome here anymore, guys. We didn't just, we didn't save the Eternal Freeze and killed Kokoli. <laughs> now that the Stellaron is she, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Oh, it's slow. Okay. The fragmentum won't aggressively expand. Anymore, Thankfully. But nor will it disappear. Urelo Six has a chance to return to life. Uh huh. But it will take time. Yeah, you can say that. It's gonna take a real long time, even just to get used to this situation. It will depend on the efforts of the people here. With the right leader, they'll do it. Thank you. All of you. I'm sorry, still. <laughs> I can't think of anything funny to say. Don't do this. Don't do this. What do you want to do now? Nah. This victory is only the beginning for Bellabog. Good mindset. There is still much to do. Yeah. <clears throat> the people will have felt the effects yeah. of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. Yep. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. I don't know either. I think you should tell everyone the truth, though. We've seen how it goes when you don't. Or when someone doesn't. Can I really do that? I think you have to. Tell everyone about Mother's true motives. About a lie perpetrated for 700 years. That's how the rebuild starts. No. No. No way. I think you have to. Zila. I think you have to. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. Then? In the underworld. We tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Yeah. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? The new generation. I understand. I think it's a great moment to, like, completely flip the place upside down. <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellaba. Uh, I guess, yeah. What? Sure. We, I mean, it's, sure. The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. She came up with this lie so incredibly quick, by the way. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's the truth the world will hear. 
What do you think? I still think you should say the actual truth. It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. Sure. It's logical and hard to disprove. <laughs> Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. I agree. But I get what you're trying to do. Yeah, I agree with March. <laughs> Maybe we include some of the cool stuff we did. I think a lie will always be a lie. But I understand for the greater good. I understand. But I must protect those that believe in the architects. Sure. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. Mm-hmm. I will be the one to carry that burden. All right, Lydia. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. Ah, <laughs> duty. And discard my naive fantasies. Yeah? Well, at least you don't have to... Well, I guess you do have to live in lies still. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. All right. Say no more. I know what to do. Slices her head off. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Well then, as promised, <laughs> let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Now this is exciting. Now that, my friends, is what I call hype as frick yeah i said it i said it Zila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the stellaron has been sealed it's been tell sealed the <laughs> will soon be over <laughs> and they will breathe freely again soon. get it because you're like seal so it's been sealed <laughs> okay of course um. leave it to me nat's probably getting anxious about the delay send her a text bro while you do that i'll head back to the Administrative district. I need to tell Jabard. Serva. <laughs> Serva. <laughs> Are you okay? No. What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? She's got to be exhausted. What do you mean? I'm. I'm fine. I need to. I need to hurry. I do wonder if she's gonna tell Gep and Serval the full truth, though. Uh, she's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, you help me out here. You? That's not my name. See, let's take Branya back with you. We'll go to the underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. Yeah. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you. I don't know about that one bright purple. That's settled then. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Alright. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun, for Bellabog's sake. I think I if I can, I'm telling Nat the truth. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? <laughs> You, you don't want to. You don't. You don't. Oh yeah. Well, I saw Clipoth, the preservation. Uh, that's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, Arch. But all of a sudden, I was infused with great, uh, terrible power. Um. Thank you. <laughs> not answering my question, though. <laughs> she probably doesn't know what happened either. I know. This wouldn't be the first time. I know. Hey. Something similar happened when we See? faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Yeah, I'm so happy I'm following this. Remember that glance from Nanook? Oh, I do. Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. Yeah. But now it seems to be more than that. So am I just fire now? We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going I'm on. Might, can I be fire and physical still? And let's focus on the business at hand first. That would be really useful. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Sure. Let's talk once we're back on the express. All right. Mm, Where is it right now, though? We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. That is so exciting. Tread on a brand new path. There it is. So it is. Look, Gep, Serval, Branya, and Zila. So I guess every new type you get, perhaps, you will have the characters from that arc with you. That is so cool. Universal equilibrium, trial v. Oh, equilibrium. Speak to me. Everwinter and Fate. Oh my goodness. Everburning Amber. Left alt. Okay, I will. Select me. Switch. You can just do it like this. You don't even have to go to Statue of the Seven. They can be changed freely. Oh, and then you can equip something else. I need preservation now. Equilibrium. <laughs> that is cool. Although these traces are utterly useless now. I'll put them back on Chicken Girl. Or Relics, sorry. Her little portrait has changed as well. Look at us now. So cool. Recommended gear. Oh. 
There's an auto equip, bro. This is incredible. What is this? Tip. No. What? You can undress them. Lovely. <laughs> Guys, that is so cool. Will of preservation. Shield. That is amazing. This game. This game. Zila, Branya, what's right. going on? Are you hurt anywhere? Do you feel dizzy? Tired? Or Wait, are you talking to me? You're talking to Branya, aren't you? Why does it look like you're looking at me? I don't know, Zila. I feel cold all over. <laughs> Isn't that normal? This place <laughs> is freezing. <laughs> I love the unseriousness sometimes. Oh, let's get out of here before you catch a cold too. To be fair, you probably should have dressed in something a little bit warm. Don't worry, I'm a tough cookie. Nice. Here, hold on to me. Yeah, I just got to say, hold let's on to go. me. <laughs> there they go. Anyone else? I want to see Gepin, Gepin Serval so bad as well. Man, 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 that was amazing. I need to stop. I just need to get moving. Fast travel. So what is the idea here? Do I actually have to walk out or can I just teleport? Because we're in a... Oh, it's no longer an instance. All right, let's go see Nat. I have no what? idea how... In canon, how planet. do we go down? Do you think done. Felt the hey, done. Of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. I'm so surprised. How did we just get back down? Easily like that. Aren't we supposed to not know how to get up and down and the guards are still mad at us and all that? It's over, we're doomed. Was it an earthquake? Was that shaking just now? Sorry, lads. <laughs> What is what does the guard want? How are you doing? Uh, good. I'm fire now. That's great. <laughs> I love that he's just a normie. Our friendship began from our fight. Did it? After a battle with you folks, I meticulously examined the security of the restricted zone. I think it's uh, time to hold a massive military exercise to raise the new recruits' vigilance and defensive awareness. So then, <laughs> you're saying you don't want us in anymore? I would like to invite you to be the military or the main drill master and host this military exercise. Really? Please, the young'uns in the Silverman Guards need your guidance. Whenever you have time, come look for me at the restricted zone. That's kind of cool, actually. Nat, Oleg. Hope you didn't have to wait too long. How's it going, bros? Oh, it's them. Hey, it's us. You kids move fast. Uh huh. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news. <laughs> March always just smiling. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> mm -hmm. bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then- Don's gonna be like, March? Not too much. <laughs> uh, maybe she should do the talking. Oh. I'm no good at serious stuff. All right. I'll probably say something I'll regret. Uh, I do that all the time. The Guardian sacrificed herself. <sighs> you know, I don't want to- I don't want to lie. Don, you do the lying. I'm not doing it. The Supreme Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the I hate that we're lying. We were there at the fight. And we witnessed everything. The fight with what? <laughs> the only thing we fought was Kokolia. What else would we fight? Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. Yeah, I'm kind of with March on this. I, but I totally understand that we are lying. I'm just, I don't like it. Kokolia, in order to save Bellabog, You don't believe she... it, do you? I see. Yeah. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Yes. The battle with no one knows what. Yeah, it was a hard won victory. Quite literally saved the world. <laughs> Why am I sad? Thank you. Because we're lying? I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out alright. It was all worth it to see your eyes again, Natasha. What about Zila? Dead. Sorry. Come to bear the news. Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Uh huh. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Nice. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian. That's left to be seen. I'm not sure how that's gonna end. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. Yeah. The underworld will thrive again under her watch. I I hope so. Mm -hmm. His mouth moves oh, again, by the way. Brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. <laughs> the people of the hey. underworld will breathe freely. Is that the girl? Why? Just, it's a bit sus that we're seeing her. It's the same motto as the character we spoke to that was the god, right? Breathe of preservation. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. Oh, it's about to happen. March, Don Hung, and you. 
Can I ask for your help again? Again? I want to get this news out to everyone. Again? It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Sorry, but that's just too much. <laughs> Can't wait to see their faces. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. Whoever I We've like. We've gotten to know a lot of underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? The guy that made me lose a lot of money with chugging crabs. Gertie at the Goethe Hotel. Yeah, hook in the moles. That'd be cute to see the kids. I don't know if they understand the consequences. They're moles. They want to live underground. Let's do. Uh, let's go to the, the mining team, sure. Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly. Wow. <laughs> This should be Wildfire's final mission. Dude, we're being looked at. Why is it blurry? Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fighting on the surface? Uh, yes. Let's hope we didn't cause a collapse. Well, we caused chaos for sure. I kind of regret not picking the moles now. <laughs> if we can only do one. Let's see, how do we even get here? I've never been there before. You don't see me? <laughs> this bot. Yeah. Boonk. I love the lance. Cool weapon always. Oh, it's this place. It was barricaded <laughs> off last time. Antonia. What's up, Antonia? I sure hope they're not arguing again. Nah. Quick, let's head over. Nah, they'd be fighting otherwise. Here, take it. Oh. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, they're not being robbed, right? We actually yeah. have enough for the moment. Humble vagrant. Humble. You. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? No, he's humble vagrant. It's you. Oh. No, no, you misunderstand. <laughs> there was a huge quake at the mine just now. Yeah. Part of it collapsed. Oops. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. Yeah. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Mm-hmm. You want to hear something really great? Oh, to do with us? Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. You want to hear this? Telling the mining team and the vagrant about the victory. You mean to say that we're about to be yep. reunited with the overworld? Uh-huh. Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. <laughs> Good things don't happen to us. That's about to change. You want to, they might just be awful still. I hope it's good. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. <laughs> if things go back to the way they were ten years ago... Then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. I hope so. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. Yeah. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I hope so. I... <laughs> Let it out. Thank you, outsiders, from the <laughs> bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes. As will the rest of the underworld. Hey, that's not what we're doing it for, but thank you. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. Nice. If the cable car station can start operating again... We'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architect. That's how easy it takes, like how easy it is to convince them. Maybe nothing happened. I just blew up a bomb on the surface, guys. That's what it was an earthquake. Nothing happened. And now they're like, oh, fuck yeah, back to work. <laughs> hey, what's this? New message. Who from? What is this? Welt. <clears throat> He's acting all of us. Sealing the Stellaron is complete and the spatial distortion dissipating. Good job. We should be back soon. We'll need to stay here a little longer. I just want to see the moles. If I can. I hope I can. Don't rush. Go at your own pace. The Express will be here before you're ready to leave. <laughs> nice. Craving some juice. <laughs> How's your reload? I do wonder. Is it starting to melt? Not great. Even though the influence of the Stellaron has basically subsided, the existing fragmentum is de too deeply rooted. Oh god. Tonal freezes lasted very long, enough to severely impact the ecology of the planet. In short, the planet probably won't regain the vitality it once had a thousand years ago in such a short time. Yeah, that's fair enough. Anything else we can do? Tell us, Welt. As Trailblazers, our mission already concluded successfully. The fate of this world should be handed back to its inhabitants. Humankind has always struggled against austere conditions and has always managed to thrive in spite of it. You're typing in so many- Stop! Welt, holy moly, bro. Learn to type one message, even if it's a bigger one. Are you guys the many small text people or the one big text people? Because I kind of like one big text. Anyway, <laughs> now the eternal freeze is gone, the fragmentum has lost its momentum to expand. Your will be revitalized. People believe in the perseverance of her people. I detected a high frequency spatial energy surge in the north of your You might be interested in checking it out. Don't worry, the energy is not related to the Stellaron. It is only an echo left behind after spatial distortions fade away. Inside the echo, our perceptions of space and time that we are used to will become radically altered to the point where it might even reconstruct certain scenes from our own past experiences. 
Yeah, interesting. We saw that with Coley already. If you're in the mood and wish to relive those memorable adventures, you can check your luck at places where echoes can be found. Is that like you can replay the story? That'd be uh, really cool. Mr. Yang put it nicely. But the reality is this. Yeah. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this I planet. know. Yeah. Here I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. I know. We didn't make a promise, but we did all we could. It's a matter of time. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Yeah. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. Wow. What's the only difference? Me being here, I give hope. Let's go. So, should we tell everyone the deal? I'd say so. We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Sure. Echo of War. Review the past memories of battling formidable foes and obtain trace materials and rare light cones. Oh, it's weekly bosses. Yoink. <laughs> Echo of War. Open daily. You can do it three, yeah, three times a week. I have one day left for this, so I'll definitely have to do this as well. It does cost resin. Of course it would. And look at that. You can get, like, you can get actual thingies. We are wildfire. That's so cool. Hey, breakfast. <laughs> Okay, very, very cool. Very neat. Return to Natasha again. Nat, I keep bothering you all the time. I kind of wanted to talk to the moles too. Hey, Nat. Okay, I need to not click this one because that's like a hangout or some show of some sort. Talk to Natasha. We're back. Oh, is everyone all right? Yeah. Thanks for your help. No problem. Maybe next time we can send a group notification. <laughs> for you, anything. <laughs> I'm flattered. Good. Now we just have to wait for the official news. <laughs> I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Sure. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? Yes. I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. True. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, wow. That's what we're doing instantly. Sure. I mean, let's just finish all this, right? This is all part of the same arc. I think we'll even go back to... Uh, Timmy! Outsiders. Oh, Perkins! Friends of Clara. Hey, Perkins. How did you know that was Perkins? Uh, I recognize. I totally didn't think it was Timmy. The, the, <laughs> the. Thank you for rescuing Clara. Aw. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. He got beat up. What do you it's mean? Language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Please. Outsiders are f friends <laughs> of Clara. Follow me. Thanks, Perkins. He's actually moving. No, I think we're actually going to go back to, uh, oh wow, enter safe zone. To the train as well, and even gonna talk to everyone there. And that's where we're gonna start a new arc. At least that's what it feels like to me. Are you the one? No. No, you're a different one. Thanks, Perkins. Hey, Clara. Hey, Sparog. Good to see you guys. You have visitors, Clara. <laughs> oh, it's the variable. <laughs> that's a cool name. Nice haircut, Sparog. <laughs> Are you trying to start another fight? No, I'm being nice. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparg said it must have been... The variable. Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% uh, probability. That's pretty high probability. Old friend of yours? Any other secret weapons you'd like to tell us about? <laughs> The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. Uh huh. It was not built to fight. It was used to fight, though. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, <laughs> we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. Uh huh. And Branya made a promise. Yeah. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. I don't, yeah, I think that's good. Which means that even you, for Sparog, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld. For the time being. And then we fight. <laughs> March. Everyone. <laughs> thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... Hey, the power of friendship. But now... Mr. Sparrow, what do you say? <laughs> you guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? Uh-huh. I want to be just oh. like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. How cute. I know you will. Your future is yours to decide. Calculation result. Update. <laughs> Mission number That's so zero, cool. Zero, zero, one. That's so Preserve cool. The underworld. Complete. That is a banger line. I love that. Another text. Who is it this time? It's a group chat. Bronya. Oh my god, it's the guy. 
March, Don Hong, Retnas, are you seeing this? This android actually sent messages. Your taste in stickers. <laughs> It's the guy! Huh? What's wrong with that picture? I quite like it. I like it too, Branya. Thank goodness. I've already given the orders to the Silvermane Guards to immediately lift the blockade between the Underworld and Overworld, and some people in the Underworld should have already received the notice. After closing for more than a decade, the cable car station should finally be reopening soon. Uh, if you don't mind, would you like to come to the Overworld for my succession ceremony? Woohoo! <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the galaxy. See you there. Hey, <laughs> see you there then. <laughs> I love the boomer stickers! This is the perfect. Oh. Quick as a flash. Yes, streets of buzz. <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. Wow. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. <laughs> he actually said that smiling. Wow. Don Hong showing emotion. I did tell you, he only speaks when he can shit on March every time. Guys, we're watching, we're watching Bronita be, get the celebration. Wait, this is the underground still. Are we gonna go at the cabin? Up, oh, I'll meet with Natasha. This Antonia, this is the wrong one. <laughs> hey, Nat. You made it. I did. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. Not for anything in the world. No way. After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration? Exactly. Right? Yeah, 100%. I'll go sit at the children's table. Uh, I don't know how much of a celebration we'll be having. Uh-huh. But I know Hook and Clara will be pleased to sit with you. Let's go. For Oleg and I, yeah. not to mention the other adults, reopening yeah. the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh-huh. Uh, return to normality. Mm -hmm. Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. Yeah. Mission zero 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 one complete. That might be the title of the video, actually. That's badass. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, yeah, this will be a new life altogether. I know. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation <laughs> and isolation. I know. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, yeah, we must strive to do better for the next generation. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, your ear off it's okay. I understand. This is a day to remember. Yes. We should welcome it with smiles. Yes. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Okay. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. And when you're Ooh. ready, let's go home. Yo, the people. No time for me. Oh, no time for me, my friend. This is a big one. We unlock something big after this. Cable car operator, you're finally back finally. in a job. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. <laughs> I know. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. No, dude. Ah, it's you. Uh-huh. The liberators of the underworld. Hey, man. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. Now, that's an honor. It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. I watch it just destroy. You have a license. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm afraid you might have to make an exception. <laughs> My license has expired. Oh, no. And I haven't had the chance to go up and renew it for 10 years now. You know, I've been told it's the same as cycling. You don't forget it. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? Well, weren't they? Not yet. No problem. This car won't be leaving without you. Thank you, CCO. That's cable car operator for you. Can I talk to anyone else around here? Fedora. Are all these people voiced, perhaps? No. Leave me alone, Tanya. Fedora. The guards. Oh, here we go. Move so quickly. You think that's a little fishy? No, Joshua. I, uh, I think it's hard to believe, but I've met that young lady, Branya. <laughs> we didn't talk much, but she felt trustworthy to me. Okay. I don't really know what kind of person the new guardian is, but I heard the three outsiders are on good terms with her. Yeah. Those three are really capable people. True. If they believe the guards, then there's no reason for us not to. Uh-huh. I guess. <laughs> Fedora's right. They saved lots of people at the mines. I think they can be trusted. Thanks. Guys, it's an honor. It's an honor you think so. Little charmer. Mommy, what do children in the <laughs> overworld dress No, <like? laughs> she's so tiny. Mommy doesn't know either, sweetie. The overworld is different from here. Yeah. Their fashion is always changing. I don't know what's popular these days. Just a bit more bright, honestly. Then... Will other no. children laugh at me when we go up? No, no worry, Alina, I'll protect you. Don't be silly. That won't happen. Mommy's gonna buy you some pretty new clothes Aww. as soon as we're on the surface. Aww. <laughs> Deal. Thanks, Mommy. <laughs> Poor kid's like three years old, already stressing out about being 
being left out. I don't want to hear your news. Because she has different clothes. That's nuts. Minor. It's been more than ten years. Oh no. I can finally see my little girl again. She won't be little anymore. She must have graduated by now. Yeah. I hope she found a good job. Oh man. Government administration. Or legal consulting, perhaps. I'm excited. Please, Who is Amber it? Lord, anything but those terrible magazine oh, no. publishers. Oh I no. Like to read those pointless things. Good sir, you're about to go to the surface for the first time in ten years, and this is what you're thinking about. Oh gosh, as long as it's not magazines. I hate magazines. <laughs> Ancient relic appraiser. Oh, you're just a you're just a normie. Get me out. Anything else Nat has to say? Nope, Nat doesn't even want to talk anymore. Alright, let's go. That was cute. So Ready to climb aboard? Let's get it. Time to take the kids out for some fresh Brothers, air. Sisters, ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, boys and girls. What's he speaking ages? through? Gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Do we get a cutscene? This would be such a wholesome cutscene. Oh, okay, that's cute too. Look at the big blue ceiling. Wow. Hey, it's not a ceiling hook. <laughs> That's not a ceiling, huh? <laughs> That's the sky. <laughs> so this is the overworld? Uh-huh. The air here smells different. Less dusty. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Yeah. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I love this. Mm. The I art is so I'd pretty too. To see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. Yeah. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. I love this. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. Uh-huh. Dude, just the, the clouds moving and the little bit of snow falling adds so much to this. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. I know. And let the day just pass me by. See, it's so hard to live on the surface. <laughs> you just want to be lazy. It's so hard for us. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. I believe it. They did a great job down there. Lads. Huh, it's Jepard. Lads. Is he here to meet us? Gep the lab. Still on duty. Gep, Gep, Gep. He must have recovered quickly. Geppy the Leppy. Geppy the Leppy. Where are we? Have we ever been here? Suitcase. Oh, I really want to inspect the luggage, but I won't. This is all for an exploration video. I think it could actually be really cool an exploration video on this. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted. I love this game though. I want to play so much more. Oh, here he is. Wait, are you the same dude? <gasps> Sasha. My Sasha, <laughs> is that you? She has a kid? Dad, by the Amber Lord. <laughs> Going to see you again. That's so cute. Praise the preservation, my child. Praise the leniency. And who's this little one? That's your grandson, Grandpa. Here, Barry. <laughs> Say hello to Grandpa. Aww. Uh, hello, Grandpa. <laughs> my grandson. Is this my grandson? Ah, so cute, man. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I wanted to introduce oh, you to my husband. The publisher. Too, uh oh. But he can't get away from the publisher today. It's war. That's okay, my child. <laughs> all the time in the Did you say publisher? <laughs> Shit, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Sasha. You have to witness that. Gep. Bye. You can actually just leave. You can actually just leave Gep the Dep in the dust. Gep the Dep. The deputy! Oh my god. Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Thank you, Gep. Trailblazers! First time anyone's called us that on this planet! Ah, uh, we're getting the, the respect we deserve. <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Yeah. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Ah, Gep, my king. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in Don't the worry. restricted zone. Don't worry. I respect it. You were only trying to help. So were you. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. It's okay. It's hard. It's hard to believe us. <laughs> Didn't expect to get wrecked, did you? Nah, 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 nah. You were just doing your job. I did a wholesome Thanks moment. For understanding. Of course. I still understand. It. You know, you and I, we started off as rivals. I just had just as much of a grudge against you, but you've you've carried my ass, and I appreciate that. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. Uh-huh. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Awesome. Uh-huh. 
That's sooner than I expected. Yeah. Is she well enough to... Yeah, of course. Not really. But Lady what do you mean? This must give such like an adrenaline boost. As soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. Don't faint on stage. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. Oh, dude. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. The blue crystal in the middle of the city? Hell yeah. No time for me, my friend. Oleg, the underground equivalent of a soldier. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh. Are you Captain Oleg? <laughs> well, I didn't oh. think anyone would still remember my name after all this time. Wow. Of course we remember. Every young guard knows about your courageous exploits. Look, they never held a grudge. This is so annoying, too. This is what I'm about. People that follow orders don't have any say in what happens. Like, there is no reason to hate each other. It's just the leaders that are making us. Oh? Which ones might they be? The time I finished off that rampaging prowler with <laughs> three bullets? <laughs> Stop flexing, or when bro. when I defended the outpost from monsters for six days straight without yeah. food or water. Oh, wow, those are even crazier. I haven't heard of either of them, actually. But I'd love to hear all about them. Oh, no! Oh, my, the woman almost got ran over. <laughs> sure. In which case, I'll cut my walk short and tell you all the grisly details. Ah, he already, he's loving the life of fame already. Our boy Oleguino. What's going on here? Joshua and his mom. Vending machine. You want something? Here, I'll get you uh why is there only why is there why did someone buy two healing sprays? <laughs> oh, these don't refresh ever. I must have done that. You want some soda? I'll get her some soda. And a little trick snack? Here you go. I can't give it. Is this little girl that was scared that she'd be dressed differently? Oh! Look at her! <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> She's so cute! Bro. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling. Which one? When you stop and look back on the things you've done. Yeah. And wonder at all the obstacles you've overcome. Uh-huh. The strength you've displayed. I haven't had a lot of time to do all that, you see. You've been in the underground almost longer than I've been alive. And then you start <laughs> to doubt yourself. Uh-huh. And wonder if you've lost that drive. Okay. Sure. If everything were to happen again. Yes. Yes. You still stand strong. Absolutely. Yes, I know the feeling. You do? I would stand up. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's good to know someone in this world feels the same way as me. Of course not. I haven't been able to sit back once over the past ten years. Take a seat. A moment's negligence could have brought wildfire crashing down. Uh-huh. And the underworld would have been beyond saving. Yeah. Staying vigilant wasn't the issue. It was the not knowing whether I'd ever be able to let my guard down again. Yeah. No yeah, that's a pain. No anyone says, I believe your arrival was the <laughs> reward for my long vigil. You deserved it. Thank you, Trailblazer. How sweet. Wow. Guys, how crazy is it that they managed to make the overworld, which we were still allowed to freely walk in, to make it feel like... It's new again. Just because you're allowed to walk here and everyone is so excited about everything. That's so cool. Can people stop texting me? Oleg, we just chatted, bro. Left Bella Bog. No, I'm here. I'm, I'm hanging out. I'm watching Branya. Only been back in Overworld for my season not even warmed yet and the Silvermane guards are rushing to get me to be their advisor. <laughs> so many side quests as well. Eye for an eye. I think it's another big mission. Oh, look. Wow. Well, did you see that, Clara? A super, super big steel monster just <laughs> Where is it? I don't think that's a monster. Uh-huh. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. Yeah. It's called... It's like a, hmm. a tr tramway. I can't remember. It's tramway, guys. Don't worry about the name. The important thing is I saw what it can do. <laughs> it has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. Yeah, she's right. It does do that. And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> <laughs> We'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. Can someone give Clara some shoes, though? This is not an exclusivity from the uh, overworld. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Yes, it is. It's fine. You do you, Hook. I have faith. Anyone else Look, here? Oh. There's a crowd gathering over there. Yep. Is the address starting soon? I'd assume so. Mm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Let's find somewhere to wait. I think this is a great spot to wait right here. By the benches? Alright. Anyone else around here? Oh, would Serval be in her shop? I wanna I wanna check all the places real quick. You know what I mean. 
You know what I need. I need to see Serval. My queen! Oh, hey, it's Trailblazers. I just want to chat. Nah, but bro, she's just a normie. How are you not like mega emo after everything that happened? I'd be mega emo. Be like, Serval, it's so good to see you. I'm glad you survived and saved Gep the Lep and saved everything. And then we also want to fight and look at this thing. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Hey, uh, sorry. I know there's a million free benches. I'm just going to sit here though. Wow, I can't believe it. We just sat where people were. How impolite. Whoa, this must be it. I've got my back turned to it. Citizens of Bellabog. I kindly ask for your attention. Can I turn around, please? Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Uh-huh. Please remain orderly. Of course. Here we go. Wow. Hear me. I'm hearing you. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory. Yeah. But it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. Uh-huh. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. Only 700. In the process, she paid the ultimate price. Wow. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. Uh-huh. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. Yeah. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. Mm -hmm. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest oh, no. regret. Oh no, don't start with this now. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. <laughs> wow. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. Right. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Uh-huh. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age together. I really feel like just having said what happened wouldn't have changed much to the speech. People of the underworld. Aww. <laughs> I not ask for your forgiveness. This is so cute. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. <laughs> but I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. <laughs> and the seed of civilization will not be preserved. The sound of flipping pages and drinking is like so it's so immersive for no reason. Here, there you have it again. And on that note. I'd like to extend my oh. heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Oh. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. <laughs> but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. You know, this city's gonna lose a lot of its charm when the snow will stop falling. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, yeah. we should not forget to look up into the sky. Cute. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, uh -huh. our world, the world the trailblazers call Yarilos, See you. <laughs> will no longer be alone among the stars. Let's go. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I, Branya Rand, the 19th guardian of Bellabog. Uh-huh. Hereby take my oath. Sure. Lady Branya, Lady Branya, Long live Bellabog! That's like end of a Pokemon episode right here. Wow. And there's more. And we haven't even been back to the to freaking Star Rail yet, dude. These dusty papers. Yeah, no one's been working here. Pretty Supreme Guardian. <laughs> Was insane. Yes, you'd be right. Hey, Branya. I mean, Branya, Madam Supreme Guardian. <laughs> March. Don Hung. And you. And you. <laughs> I forget your name, you but you too. <laughs> Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. It's okay. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. She does seem rested. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. Yeah. The situation risked spinning out of control. Uh-huh. Are you fully recovered? I saw Zila. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. I'm worrying a little bit. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. Yeah. It was a terrible feeling. I can imagine. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. You would have been just like her. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. <laughs> it was all just a bunch of palatable lies. Mm -hmm. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Well, 
Feels pretty bad. <laughs> sad, sad face moment. The part about the preservation of the seed of civilization was real. It's what you do as a leader that matters. Sometimes, people need to hear white lies. Well, I think this is true. I prefer to be honest with the people. I know, me too. But I also want to preserve their hope. Wow, preservation, I get it. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Yeah, you do it. Mm. Allow me to explain. Fade. Wow. Telling Branya about Welt's observations. It's gonna be a bit, Branya. I'm sorry, Queen. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Yes. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. Uh-huh. Stellarons are terrible things. I'm sorry, I know we promised you, but... Can't always keep them. I know. Our ancestors wouldn't have risked using one if they'd had other ways of avoiding calamity. Mm -hmm. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I think I did. I have no right to ask for more. I think I died. <laughs> I think I died and came back, and I think it's gonna happen every planet. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Okay. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. I'm glad you think so. We will find a way to root out the Fragmentum. The Astro Express will do everything within our power to help. I don't know if that's true. I should speak for myself. <laughs> in that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. Okay. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you Trailblazers return. Uh-huh. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. Yeah. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Thank you, Queen. Same to you. Congrats! That was Thanks. one heck of a first trailblazer. It's activity. done? That was it? That's the first part? Worth celebrating, I'd say. I agree. On a scale from one to five, how would you rate this journey? Five. Two and a half. <laughs> what? That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> My scoring criteria are different from yours. What do you base it on? Uh, anyway, we should be asking you. Uh-huh. Any thoughts you want to share? No, I loved it. Time for a nap. <laughs> I feel like I could fight a hundred monsters. What will the next adventure be like? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Really? Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Alright, then I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> Let's go for one more round in the administrative No, district. I'm okay. I want to take more photos. Alright, you go and do that. Hey, what in the world is this? Planar, planar ornaments. So it is jewelry, I think. Hey, my god. Jewelry. Can we get Branya's? Branya's earrings? Boop. There you go. Oh, what the hell? It's a little ball. Space ceiling station. Increases the wearer's attack by 12. Wearer's speed 120 or higher. Wearer increased by an extra 12. Wow. Super broken early game. How about this? It's a two-piece. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's really cool. This is actually a really cool gear system. Very excited to uh, get into that as well. Maybe with some more short form videos eventually. Bronita, I can finally steal this. If you walk with your head down and your heart full of fear, yes, your steps will grow heavier and your spirit will suffer. I grew through that, I know. But if you find something to look up to mm -hmm. and move forward with hope, yeah, then your steps will grow lighter. Yeah. And if you should fall, You'll be on your feet before you know it. I believe you. Thank you for teaching me this, Trailblazers. <laughs> oh, you were saying that we taught you this. Okay, good. No problem at all. I like the short short and sweet dialogue. He was trying to text me. Himeko. Heard to said she's got something good for you and wants to go back to Simulate Universe. She also asked if you blocked her. Why don't you go see her? She seems uh, I'm scared. Himeko, help. It's all good. She promised not to bully you. Good stuff. That's what the mission's called. Good stuff. Taking pictures? Rania said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? The average is like 80, I'm sure. 80 something. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. That sounds so sus. What do you know? Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. What a weird thing to say, Don Hung. Does this tie into your weird story somehow? Hey Here kids. Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Photo time. Oh. Yes. Let's make sure we get them in the background. Sure. Maybe we should try for a cleaner composition this time. I get to make it? Wow. Is this gonna happen every region as well? I love that you can walk around. This camera is actually the best camera I've ever had in any video game ever. And I sincerely believe that. Cute. Okay, where to next? We're taking pictures of everything. Oh, oh here we go. Since we got back. I tried Let's to. Head to the workshop. But you guys didn't let me. This ending part's gonna be long. Yeah. Oh! Parents tell you to knock before. <laughs> it's you three. Oh, 
Come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. Hello. How have you been, big sister? Mr. Fall's workshop is Big amazing. sister? Me? There are all kinds of things. Wait. I like it here a lot. I'm big sister or Sir Val big sister? Sir I'm big sister. How cute. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. <laughs> old. <laughs> Let's take a photo together. Photo? Yeah. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> Alright, nice flex, dude. Anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. You make people pay for your autographs? Photo. Oh, I remember when I was little. Mr. Sparrow took a photo for me. Cute. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? Oh, uh, do rock and roll. <laughs> I want a selfie with them. Flip the camera. <laughs> oh, wait. It doesn't just do the frame. I thought it was just the middle part. Another one. Show the photo. I want to take another one. Oh, we can selfie. Why couldn't I selfie earlier? I want to selfie with them. Guys, why are you looking at me like that? This isn't very natural. <laughs> this isn't very natural. This is like the most cringe. I love it. Actually, good stuff. Here you go, Clara. There's gotta be a better shot than this one. Yeah, you're right. There is. Um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <laughs> cool, you did great. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. Hey, what the heck, guys? Never mind. At least it's memorable. Wow. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Someone get her shoes. Huh? You're leaving so soon? We need to move, Serval. I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. Cute. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Sweet. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big sister. <laughs> March. <laughs> Dan Hong. Thanks for taking care of me. That's so Big cute. Travels. That's so cute. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Sparrow. Of course. Family. That is so sweet. Oh. Uh, uh, that's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. I thought we were in for a trip. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for really? a night's sleep. Why not just home? We can sleep when we're back on the express. Yeah, I'm kind of with Don on this one. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of that our luxury dead suite. hag. <laughs> don't you think we should make up for it? I don't know. Uh, sure. Come on. Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Oh my god. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I do. I know I do. I do too. Oh my god, a monster. And this guy never gave me a cup of tea that he promised me as well. Gertie! Oh. It's been more than a decade. I'm so glad to see you in the hotel lobby again, Mr. Goethe. <laughs> Unbelievable. Feels like it was just yesterday that wow. I was showing you around the hotel all those years ago. I'm too old to remember a lot of things, but that day, I remember clearly as ever. Cute. Since the passage between the overworld and underworld has opened up again, shared some it's about tips. time we shared some tips with each right. other. Hotel manager to hotel manager. Uh huh. Of course, of course. I was worried before that after losing customers from the overworld, you would go out of business. But your establishment is still alive and well, all thanks to your superb <laughs> management. <laughs> right. Show her the card. You flatter me, Goethe. Gert. My hotel is getting refurbished. I'll be sure to invite you to visit again when the work is all done. Yeah. It's cool that they still want to live in the underground. Here we are. The room where our adventure started. Overwhelmed by a sea of weariness. Go to bed. The engine of creation. Cocolia. An ethereal outer space. The gaze of preservation. Your fragmented memory of the battle forms a blurry and surreal montage. In the midst of this frantic ta tapestry, tapestry of events, you see the moment Kokolia perished with the Stellaron. A strange voice speaks to you in a hushed tone. But the voice passes rapidly. You try to recall what you saw in those fleeting moments, but find no trace. All of a sudden, you hear it again. A female voice in your ear. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes <laughs> you and troubles you will resolve. Alright, Kafka. Alright, Kafka. Nah. Oh, Sampo Koski. Oh, close thing, alright. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to uh, shadowy comic relief. <laughs> are you about to break the fourth wall? What's going on? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. Maybe he's making a vlog. <laughs> you, you liked it? 
Really? <laughs> Told you so. But who are you talking to? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? Who are you talking to? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> Epsilon. True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. I'm too tired to even try and understand what it means. True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Sure. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Huh? Time to make my curtain call. He's staring straight at us. To you, my dear audience. I dedicate my performance. <laughs> I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your life? Are you asking me? I, I thought you were pretty cool. You were like pretty spicy character. You don't have to answer that. Oh. But if the answer is no, <laughs> then you'll break my heart. Well, I said yes. So, what do you want? We should be getting back to what the. What? Why does Sempo Koski talk to us like that? Sempo Koski, Himeko. That's Mars done hung. How was your rest? Pom Pom has completed the routine pre-departure inspection, so the Nameless is ready to move on the onto the next world. Come back to the Express when you've tied up all those loose ends. Oh, right. You asked us so many questions about that final battle with the Supreme Guardian Bellabog. Wells and I made some simple analysis that might help you shed some light on it for you. Got it. We'll prepare and start our preparations now or something. I don't know. I said prepare twice. Meet up with your friends and prepare to leave. Really? I have to go outside the door? We're gonna talk in the corridor again? How did you Energy myself. I heard the Stellaron again. I dreamed about Sampo. You poor thing. <laughs> I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. All right. Did you get Himiko's message? Yeah. It's time to go. I know. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. I bought it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. Wow. That's it, guys. The arc is done. Bid farewell to Bellabog. Is this what we're doing when you're like leaving a place for the first time? Like, bye house. Bye house. It was nice being here. Bye swimming pool. <laughs> Hello. Bid farewell to Bellabog. I'm, I'm actually just walking. I'm lazy, dude. I'm teleporting there. Could I not just have teleported straight up? Why not? We're doing it. Final cutscene, I assume. Here we are As we get past. run over. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Yeah, a little bit. Nothing lasts forever. Except eternal ice. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. I believe that. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. <laughs> Leave your reload and return to the express. I want to have one last look. As if you wouldn't be able to come back. As if. Priorities. Oh? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Who are we talking to? Of course to? not. I'm just saying oh, we have wow. assets and we need new parameters. They're fighting already. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. <laughs> Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to Look, Ronya. We're leaving. Later, fools. Is it us? Plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? <laughs> it is us. <laughs> yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty ah, than ours. Dude, but the music. We will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. Good job, girls. Proud of you. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Good point. Counter argument? Nope. Sila wins. The underground Welcome thrives. Home, you three. Hello. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back, Himeko. You don't even realize. Himeko, Mr. Yang, Team Trailblaze. <laughs> duty. Mission one accomplished. <laughs> well, you start counting from zero again because I'm here now? Okay, cool. Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Yep. Well done, everybody. Thank you. And especially you. Oh. I heard a lot of good things about you. I died, Himeko. I died. <laughs> can I skip the next mission and get some rest? How would you rate my performance? I said it's a solid I'd 10 out of 10. It's a solid five stars. Five out of five, right? Get some rest on the express. Your Elo 6 was not an easy ride. You're right. Pom Pom is of You're the right. opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of as the pom -pom anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. <laughs> yeah. 
I sorry, I was laughing at my own joke. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. Yes, that's right. Well, you pick. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Uh huh. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Always on the grind. I'm thinking. I actually heard a name. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another. Uh huh. That's exactly what I signed up for. All right. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the way of the nameless. Uh huh. That's good to hear. Nice. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Okay. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. You're gonna have a million things to tell me, don't you? I'll head back to my room then. Bye. <laughs> Instant ditch. What a surprise from Don Hong. <laughs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. Well, I mean, he stayed for a speech at least. We need to give him some time, March. Chuckles. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. I think so too. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole stuff. There we situation. go. You must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. I don't know, not really. While you were away, Weld and I did some research. Oh yeah, you texted me this. It's true. Conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. All right, I'll ask everything then. <sighs> home sweet home. Let's Mr. get Nick it. Mister Nick and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Uh huh. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. <laughs> That was crazy. That was crazy. Silent Galaxy. Hey, Pom Pom. Checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. Sorry, Pom Pom. How's my level though? <laughs> We're still not there yet. I'm gonna do that for sure. Second channel content if you want. I'll upload that there. Himeko, tell me. The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. Yeah. We travel between worlds like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. Okay, Kafka. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. No, it's not. It's a miracle that our paths converge. Yeah, that's true. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Damn, maybe you're right. That's Thank crazy. Thank you for becoming our companion. <laughs> I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Okay, cool. Uh, I'd like to talk about the battle with Kukoli. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. Yeah. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Quite literally onlooker. About the path of preservation. Klopoth the preservation is known for their... indifference. Okay. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Uh-huh. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the architects held on for hundreds of years. Yeah. But as the fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. Yeah. And one particular guardian, Kokolia, mm -hmm. abandoned the path of preservation altogether. I remember that. <laughs> we Contrast, got that far. You stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Thanks, Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Cool. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian. That's and to so take sick. Control of the Colossus. That's so sick. Um, I was meant to thank you for your support during the battle. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your reload. It's like they were playing a game. I don't think they were bored at any point, honestly. Friends look after each other. True. The same goes for us nameless. Cute. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. Ah, that's way too sweet. The source of Kokolia's power, I mean the Stellaron. It is the Stellaron, yeah. there's no doubt about that. Yeah. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. Figured. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. Sure. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Right. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? I don't know. I would have tried a different approach first instead of like slowly letting everyone die. Probably like take an offense. Let's talk about someone sure. else. Ask away. We've got plenty of time. We got all the time in the world. Can you reload it back to what it was like before this Teleron? Well, maybe better equipped to answer that. But if you want my two cents... I would love your two cents. I'd say it's unlikely. Damn it. <laughs> I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. Yeah, I can sure. tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. Yeah. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. True. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. Mm-hmm. But fate likes to play tricks on people. Yeah. 
Even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, mm -hmm. they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. Right. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. Yeah. What happened to the Stellaron? It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. It was like invisible no though. One, not even Herda has found a way to break its structure. Uh-huh. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. I see. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time. Yeah. Allowing Weltenai to contain its power. How? That's about all How, we though? can do about a Stellaron. Wait, what? It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. I'm telling you, I'm going to suck it up. I'm this confident. This window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. All right. Thanks for your patience, Mecca. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. Wow. Ah, uh, but wait, Welt has a whole fucking story for us too. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. Sure has. How do you feel? Uh, tired? Be it joy or pain, success or regret. Oh, definitely joy and success. All part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and uh -huh. one day you'll grow used to them. Maybe. It seems you have something on your mind. Yeah. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative <laughs> as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. Wow. All right. The fragments of an eternal freeze, will they disappear? He says I'm no. I'm afraid not. Yeah. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. Yeah. But... The balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity. Wow. The crucial factor being the hope you brought about. This is like a classic, saying that humanity is built on the hope, always. As intangible as it may sound, mm -hmm. don't underestimate hope. I never will, I, never, I just said the contrary of that. No limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. Yeah. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. Sure. I relate your view of the Stellaron's effects to Branya. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Well, I think you did the right thing. Thanks. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than I know. to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. This is why I'm mad they lied. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger yeah every single day but they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage nice this goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make of course i hope your relo six sees that too i mean they they survived because of normal people in the mines that dug up stuff for them this mission would have been much easier if you were there <laughs> I too wish to go with you. Next time. But Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. You come next time? I've been observing what's happening on the ground from the express. Yeah. And I have to admit that I got sweaty <laughs> palms a couple times. Nice. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Uh-huh. Well done. Thanks. Himako was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. They're such cute, like, parent figures. It's been nice chatting with you, Mr. Yang. Likewise. Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. All right. All right. Guys, chat with Pom Pom and get ready for the next stage of your journey. Uh, Silent Galaxy. I wonder, is this just a tiny one? Yeah, there's barely any loot. So I think this is just, as soon as this ends, we'll end it. Hey, Pom Pom. Checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. You've done this before, Pom Pom. Good to see you too. <laughs> Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Wow. Star Rail stability. I just now realized rising. the hat is a train. Look, look, locomotive. All right, we get it. Have stabilized. Dispatch the express. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the express. Thanks. You've accomplished your trailblaze mission. Sure have. Appreciates your help. All right, love to hear it. How's the express Thanks doing? To you, the space fisher is healing up, and cool. the star rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the express. Let's go. As for the coaches, Pom Pom's checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Good stuff, Pom Pom. Oop, forgot to bring you souvenirs. Uh, 
don't worry about it. <laughs> Gorilla stick probably doesn't have anything. I actually do. I have some rock crab sticks. Plus, it's your first time on a trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. Marsh didn't get you anything either. But don't forget next time. Okay, I promise. Where's the next stop? The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. All right. Now get some rest and stay tuned. Definitely gonna get some rest. You need to get some juice for March. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. <laughs> there you go. Careful not to spill. Wait, real? <laughs> Thank you, Conductor. Oh, cute. When are we leaving, Conductor? Right away. Oh. To avoid encountering the anomalies again, uh -huh. the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. Uh, don't cut scene now. For your safety, right. please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached <laughs> cruising speed. I know. <laughs> there you go, in the sweltering morning sun. Complete two new songs and now unrestricted. Oh my god. Oh, holy. Yeah. All right. Good good stuff, man. An invitation without what now? Without proffer. Sit tight. The Express will be starting up soon. Pom Pom, why are you sad? Hey, I'm sorry. I, you're actually that's that's an actual quest. I'm sorry. Go back to crying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love these kind of like em emoji, like uh, emotion conveying methods though hey thank you so much for watching today's episode what an incredible tons of lore tons of exciting stuff we have fire now we're rich i can finally level up more i have 50,000 xp over my level thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed it i sure did i can't wait to play more of the game have an amazing day and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye